The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interests at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. First and foremost, I want to start the part off by saying hey. happy birthday to Big Mel. Hey. Hey. Happy birthday, Mel. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mel. Thank you. Oh, man. I don't know what she took. <laughs> <laughs> what she going to take? Oh, uh, said, ish, oh, wow. ish. Oh, it's too early for this. Yo, Joe, we're not even thirty seconds Joe, in. Though. Why do you always go? <laughs> I, me. You do ish. You have a lot oh, of sexual oh, in your windows, man. What's oh, the shit. narrative? Shit, you were porn star in your other life, son. You got to <laughs> come the narrative, dude. Light skin, Larry. <laughs> your core, your core. How y'all doing, man? On the floor. Great. My mouth foot. Oh, oh. We doing good, man. Glad to be here. Feeling good this morning. Let me see Joe. Came in energy up, flip. Today we're gonna have a great day. Mm. We're gonna have a great day. Um, I have a lot of things to say. Um, you know, we waiting for boss man to get his hater blockers on. This nigga been wearing the same outfit since he got attacked. <laughs> I don't know what is he doing. I don't know if it's some type of Matrix thing or what's that show The called? jacket's a little Matrixy. Yeah. John Wick. He tried to like talk to himself. But he's been reminding himself that, yo, this is what happened the other day. This is the same shit. He wore it yesterday, day before, and Saturday. Four days straight. At the end of the little, end of the little scuffle after I'm throwing some money around. Went to do like this. I said, holy shit. So I had this hat on. I said, fuck, man. You know the disappointment. Damn, man, I lost my hat. About 10 minutes later, kind gentleman just walked over to me. He said, sir, mm. somebody had changed, adjusted the shit. <laughs> <laughs> Shit was on, on a smaller head. I'm like this motherfucker. He, 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 like how fit. he tried it. It's like, nah, it's so suit me. Yeah. <laughs> try that shit on yeah. real quick. Yeah. Oh, he went in the bathroom with mom. But wait, wait, wait. You threw some money after you after you got in the scuffle? He, <laughs> he pulled right back up to the bar. I, I didn't leave. <laughs> I didn't feel like enough had been done to leave. Oh shit. And the fight solved the problem that I was having, which was too many niggas around here. <laughs> So after the fight, they cleared the shit out. Oh, so shit. <laughs> we lit. <laughs> yeah. We oh, lit. You had the place to yourself after that? Come <laughs> on. <laughs> Yo. Damn, Man, I have hilarious. to get adjusted. You, you coerced them? I have to get adjusted. Y'all want to, y'all can go ahead. Please speak amongst yourselves. Hey, y'all feel like this, man. Please speak amongst What's yourselves for just a second. You know, the brother had a fight, you know what I mean, and... I told him, you know, he, I don't know if he's naive or he just loves everybody. I said, somebody gave a drop. We're going to get into that later. I, I, I'm sending everybody ass on fire. You can't just be in there. Somebody gave a drop. You chilling, nigga walked up, cocked you, but he, he feels good. You know, I was more upset than he was. I don't know if it's some type of mental tactic that he does, but I was more upset. Like, they ain't playing around with you. You in the club. I was mad because me and you were hanging out and like we could have had don't his bring back. Me in, don't bring me into that. <laughs> <laughs> he was mad, but don't bring, don't, don't bring that up. Yo, <laughs> man. Like he could have called us and like, yo, yeah, we'll come hang out with you at the strip club and kept yeah. you safe. We could have kept you safe. <laughs> We'd have kept him off of him? Yeah. That was some amazing acting by Parks. Thank it you. Was. Thank you. It Thank was. you. Yo, clip, man. Yo, clip, man. <laughs> what the fuck, man? The equipment. <laughs> I don't want to say shit when I stood up. That floor was slippery as hell. <laughs> yeah, you and Joe. See, see, slippery, oh, floor. Shit. slippery floor. <laughs> slippery floor. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? He said the Uggs helped, and he bought new Uggs. The same thing. The Uggs helped. <laughs> Wait, they took you out your Uggs? No. You got your Neo joints on? Please, please. Keep Come playing on, them dumbass Uggs. This nigga gonna call me on the phone. Yo, I'm telling you, you keep cracking on my Uggs. <laughs> Them Uggs just came in handy. <laughs> yo, <laughs> bro, if you don't get your ass out of here, stupid ass Uggs. Yeah, you know what's so crazy? Why did we think because of the fight we had a day off? I didn't think Who that. Who thought that? I, thought, I did. You thought that? I wanted a day off for all of us. It's your nice try to get a day off. That's not true. That ain't true at all. They ain't call and say, yo, you good. You That's okay. literally what I said. You, you about to lie? lie? Yo, I, got, I got the text Yes, right I'm calling. I'm, yes, I'm lying. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Right. Thank you. I'm, no, no, I, got, okay. I got more lies to come, too. Oh, man. The better, <laughs> better, better, better drop that footage. 
I'm going to tell a story like Soldier Boy. <laughs> Let me get on the platform. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to tell a different one. Better hurry up. Yo, you Sasha K got me hyped. <laughs> All right, I wasn't ready, so y'all got to go ahead. Oh, uh, y'all got to talk. We in the That's why you ain't slipping. You wasn't ready. <laughs> you would slipped it if you was ready, you know what I mean? Who said I ain't slipping? You did. You I must have slipped some of looking for? No, I'm oh. talking about the first you know what I mean? I had to slip some of it, though. Oh, okay, in, 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 in the middle of the you know I mean? Yeah. I hope so. How are you, man? I'm good. It's your birthday. You look amazing. Thanks. Big plans for the weekend? Yes. A little travel? Hmm. Yep, yep. Just Turn up somewhere foreign? Mm-hmm. Ooh. A little bit. A little Island? Bit. Uh, that is part of the plan, yep. Ooh. Oh, Columbia, Harvard. yes? Mm-hmm. Okay. Why do you do that, man? Like, just move us up, bro. You want to get in your business. I try to be on cute when you do. I don't like that. Sorry. Like, you try to be cute when you do things, man. We know the niggas is watching. What's up, girl? Yeah, you know, I mean. And what's this outfit about? What do you mean? Look nice. Thank you. It's about the hate. No, it's the hair, yo. The hair tell it all. Mm. This with is va- yeah, this is vacation hair. They coming with those? Yeah. What that mean? They could go on the raft with a, with a Jamaican nigga be massaging their ankles <laughs> no, and shit. No, no, no. Ish, what do you mean, Ish? What is? <laughs> what do you mean, Ish? Look, ah, you'll get your. What it mean is, I could lift you up in this water. It can hang in the water. It don't even matter if it get wet when I lift. You know what I mean? You guys, nar- narrative Nancy over here. No, no, that's Number what the brace means. That might not be your uh-huh. thing. Yeah. Oh, the, that's the translation for you so guys. So they can't pull. They can't pull it though. It's right. You can't pull on them, them joints. Yes, you what? Yeah, you can. I'm just making sure I'm just asking. You, you can wrap around. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Show me. It. Now I have been around the block a time or two. A little bit. <laughs> and I too know exactly what these braids are here. The braids tell a story. And they normally do come with a call out combo. <laughs> they, no, they normally come with a call out combo. You usually get the call out first. <laughs> and then you happen. see and the braids. Yeah, then you, you see the, the braids. braids. Like, oh, true. Oh. Uh, we found a dog sitter, I'm assuming. Yep. Mm hmm. Yep. Yes. Is, right. is it someone that's unstaffed here? <laughs> no. Somebody no. got food in their house? Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> really? Really? You're going to jump yeah, on that bandwagon, they, fucker? They, Daisy ain't coming back like, no, nah, we good. Stay over there. Oh, yeah. shit. We <laughs> eating over here, fam. I got four, I got four meals today. <laughs> I'm good. No, she's good. I'm good. Everything's good. Mm. Yep. You ain't stopped smiling since. I know. Uh, <laughs> So Bell is not even here right now. Uh, our it's good effect. brother Ice wrote wrote on the board today. Yeah, yeah, you know. It's Mel's birthday, so I figured she, she's normally our board writer. I'm not going to lie. I can read Ice's handwriting a lot better. Than yeah, he writes Mel's. way better than Mel. Yeah. <laughs> Oh well, it looks like it looks like you got the gig now. No, 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 gender roles, gender roles. <laughs> oh shit! We just gave you the pass because it's your birthday. Okay, gender roles. Gender roles. So it's the female job to write on the board. Yes. Oh, Lord. oh shit! I'm just learning something. I'm yeah, learning something new today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. New today. You speak to that all? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't. I speak to equality. There are gender roles in equality. Come again? There are gender roles in equality. I'm all ears. Please, no. enli- please enlighten me, my good brother. Give me an example. An example of what? Of a gender role inequality. inequality. Uh, that's that's customized customized by each relationship. What they are. There are no set standard gender roles. But in a relationship, the genders are going to assume roles, even with equality on the table. I think the people assume roles. Who are the people? They not based. Who on are the people? The the man and the woman. Or so the, you saying what I'm saying? No, I'm not. They're not based on gender. So it's not gender roles. Like if the if the husband is a better cook, the husband cooks. But it's not based on the standard gender roles. You get what I'm saying? Uh, I got to disagree a little yeah. bit. That's no, I'm going to tell you. I'm wish on this one. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to use myself as an example. Like I don't let my girl touch garbage. That's you. But the reason is I don't think women should be touching garbage. Gotcha. So there's that's where the gender role comes in. It's mad gender roles. That's I just know, something I know example. some husbands that say I won't let, I won't get head from my Wife, because I look at it as demeaning. Oh, that True. sounds depressing. No, I, oh, I, I, I mean, oh, no, no, no. We that's all the Madonna I horror horror heard, All I'm telling you is I've heard that, that before too, but that the 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 genders <laughs> in the relationship can say, hey, some of these roles are because I am a man and I am me. I am better equipped to do some of what I'm doing. That's true. And she can say, I'm a woman. I let me do blah blah blah. We know man relationships where the woman is the brain behind. The business. A bunch yeah. of them. Yeah. 
A bunch of them. Super, super common, mm-hmm. actually. Yeah, it's, very common. it's, it's probably rare. unspoken. It's not, no more. Yeah, not it's spoken not about enough. So that's 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 all I'm saying. Got that, it. That's it. Gotcha. Um, all right, come on. Flip, flip is about to burst the bubble. <laughs> look, look at Flip. <laughs> look at Flip. New, new Joe Biden. New Joe Biden. <laughs> new for Daddy. All right. What episode is this? 673. Microphone check. One, two. What is this? Welcome, welcome, welcome to episode 673 of the Joe Button Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Button, here with a few really amazing people. And. Uh oh. Oh shit. Let me get a song ready for Big Mel. <laughs> I forgot about Big Mel, man. It's just Mel birthday today. And she's here on, on her, her birthday. birthday. Come on, dog. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't be. <laughs> yeah, you would. I would. Yeah, you would. would. You of all people would. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And she announced it, so we all know. Like, Ish kept his shit a secret. I kept my shit a secret. <laughs> we have the one and only. <laughs> As seen on Straight Stunting. <laughs> Recipes King Smooth Play. Magazine. Yo, you did Straight Stunting? King Magazine. <laughs> Maxim. Um, <B>. Maxim. <laughs> Maxim. <laughs> As seen in your favorite fucking videos for decades, nigga. The A decades wall. long run. Your favorite jail cells around the <laughs> around the globe. Bunkers. Um, mad penitentiaries out there. Bunkers. Y'all and shit. know the fucking vibes. Oh, the one and only Melissa Ford's birthday. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Big Mel. Big Mel. How you feeling? Come on, give us give the give the uh, what's your the name of your high? Mel um, Hive. What is the, the melodies. Mel Hive. Melodies. Yeah. The melodies. Hi, melodies. melodies. Yeah. Oh, God. 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 Hello, oh my God! On. Do you know how many people greet me with hootie fucking who when no. I'm outside? How many? No. A lot. Someone put in the uh, the <laughs> JB- Elliott did that before. Someone put in the community. I think it was the JBTV community uh, emojis for each of us, and they picked an owl for you. And I thought about it. I was like, oh, that's <laughs> the hoodie, that's, hoodie, that's, hoodie. that's fucking clever. I really like Salute. that. I like the that. Hoodie, hoodie. The hoodie. Come on, say a word to your melodies for your birthday. You got the come fuck me braids in. Oh shit. Okay, well that's that. What the braids are. Come well, on. They, you know I mean, are. you know, yeah. technically called passion twist, but hey, passion. for today we'll call There's them some fucking braids. Some twisting in the passion. <laughs> yeah. 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 Passion. Yeah. Exactly. passion twist. <laughs> they, put, they put a nice little twist on that. <laughs> yeah, that nigga. What's up with you, man? <laughs> Yo, why are you so? Why are you, you so boring, man? <laughs> You don't care. Now you gonna call yeah, for all yeah, yeah, That nigga said, is. Uh, Where your mind go? Freak I ass go. boy in the gray sweats. What yeah. With yeah. the gray yeah. sweats. Co- co- covering his shit too. Like. <laughs> you ain't heat, my nigga. Oh, shit. That nigga horny as hell. <laughs> you. Tell the melodies, come on, y'all. Y'all talk to the melodies out there. To the melodies and uh, to the JBT community, anyway. The JBT. JBT. She's Uh, so out of here. You know what I mean? She's out of here. Oh, you know what I mean? Got it. Mentally, I'm I'm kind of, I'm I'm on a plane. I'm on a plane. But hootie fucking who? Hootie who? (laughs) Thank you for the birthday wishes. She ready. She is ready. <laughs> yeah, you can say, at any point, you can leave. <laughs> Word. Yeah. At any point in this broadcast, you. Yeah. you can it's leave. It's your birthday. It's your you birthday. Can, you can get a mental health day. Thank, yeah. I'm here. You can get a mental health day. I am here. Thank you. Thank you, mm. Mr. Biden. I appreciate that. All right. Flip is here, my man. It's my man yes. right there. Yes, got a lot man. to talk about today. Ish is here. Let me see Ish. <laughs> Sorry. Let me see Ish. <laughs> My man got the light blue socks on. He on some different. Uh-huh. Why you always it's different? different. Nigga socks. Yo, you got a sock fetish. Get away from me, yo. This it's nigga different. always nah, looking that, at my socks. Nah, his sock drawer is ill. Yeah, it's different. I had the pleasure of being outside with my with my splash brother. You know what I mean? I'll say a word. What y'all did? Uh, a little this, a little that? Yeah. Yo, okay. Yeah, I went to say happy birthday to someone. A mm. few people. It's, no, like, it's like four or five birthdays. Okay. Oh yeah, it was a few birthdays. That oh, so you went on tour. It's good to be out with my splash brother again. <laughs> Scorpios are the original love children. Excuse me. Wait, uh-huh. wait, wait, what? <laughs> Go back nine months, wait. and what do you got? Valentine's Day. Mm. Yes. 
but, but somebody <laughs> might. <laughs> but wait. <laughs> yes. I knew he was going. But yes. And Black History Month. <laughs> yeah, but and yeah. whatever Valentine's else Day. they just decided to put on a day. Just saying, <laughs> Valentine's Day, a lot of fucking goes on. Nine months later, you get a Scorpio. But a or a you're welcome. Libra. Or a late Libra. But, or a late Libra, but, but usually Scorpio. But horoscope is about believing in the, the stars in the universe, which would predate whenever the fuck that came up, Valentine's Day. Mm. Nah. He's got a point. Mm, whatever. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. It's fine. It's your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's fine. Hey, it's whatever. You got it. It's whatever. Hey, it's whatever. Hey, Valentine's Day. Ish, man. How did you feel being outside with me the day after I needed you to be outside with me? <laughs> <laughs> How'd you feel? <laughs> Yo, what's wrong with you, yo? Did he like nah, get the door cool. for you and good. help you nah, out in your cool. your? your uh, everybody's been mad helpful since. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thanks. <laughs> you go, stop playing, yo. What? You be in a hood dolo. Uh, there you go. Come with me. Who? Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> it's over for that, right? Yeah. He likes his hands. It's over for that. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, man, I lost my splash, brother. <laughs> stupid, yo. But we were safe the next night. Indeed. Did you have any words? Did y'all have fun? Yeah, it was fun. I was there. So it was good. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Thank you. You know how that go. Sorry, right, though. Uh, you know how that go. Oh, you must have been watching me from a distance. <laughs> nah, I was. I was. Yeah, I was watching you. From, from a yeah, distance, though. Yeah, no, right? you, know, you better stop. Not, not. <laughs> I'm about to load him up. I'm telling you. I'm going to load him up. You better stop. You better stop playing. <laughs> they they want to shoot at each other so bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do. I don't. They do. I, yes, love, I, mean, I love do. him. I don't want to do nothing. He don't hang out with me for enough the way I love him. And I'm yeah, mad about no. it. Yeah, so I'm shooting at that nigga. I don't Fuck want, him. I don't want no shit. Yo. Fuck him. I need, to see what, I need to see what I saw. I need I, to see my man. I don't want no problem. <laughs> yo, I don't want no problem. You got it, bro. My man Freeze is here dealing out hope. Facts. Dealing out hope, man. Hope over dope. Oh, that's what they give it to you? Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> over dope. That look, shit can say dope look, on a nigga got payola. <laughs> pa packages of scag on Yeah, it. you wasn't around either. I could have used hope. <laughs> oh, shit. I hope you was okay. Oh, <laughs> shit. Wow. Look at him funny. deal it out. I see you. There you go. There you go. And we have the amazing man, fuck Parks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's how you do me. Oh, Parks man. is here. Corey is here. Poe is here. Erickson is here. Tanner was here. Somewhere. Big Tanner's here. Yeah, Tanner's yeah, in here. the building. How's everybody doing? How are y'all feeling? How's your mental great. health? How are your spirits doing? How's your family's kids? Loved man, ones? How are you, man? Weeks. How's your hand? I've noticed something that every time something traumatic happens, he starts drinking a lot of water. Look at him. He's been drinking a lot of water since yesterday. Yeah. What do you think the correlation is? I just feel like these young boys run down on your ass. <laughs> you got me. This nigga trying to get his body back in shape. He think water. My body's made of seventy percent water, so let me put it back in. Yeah, all that coffee shit. Get that coffee shit out of here. Good. Uh, I hear you, but the Wi-Fi must have been must be slow over here. <laughs> still ain't get uploaded yet. Yeah. Usually that should come right out. It's probably still loading. Probably still loading. Usually they got a JR with them filming the yeah, whole shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I mean. I just see you drink a lot of water. Which and I'm listen, I, I, listen. <laughs> the Wi-Fi must be slow. Wi-Fi is slow. I've been, I've been refreshing all, all D, weekend. DR style. Maybe they got the VHS cameras and they got to convert it. I said, I'm only going in here to talk like Soldier Boy if I beat them to it. I'm going to give them four days. But if it's Wi-Fi still down, <laughs> I got to come to work. Wait four days, nigga? Yeah, I got to come where to work now. At? Yeah, where y'all at? They said there was um, footage, audio. You know, it's a whole bunch of stuff, but... Hmm. Guess who, who said guess that? Guess who never believed it? Who said that? People. People don't lie. The streets. The streets. Oh. Mm -hmm. Said it was footage? It was footage of the situation with Joe. And it was audio. For the first rumor was that Joe got jumped in there. Mm -hmm. But then I heard he didn't get jumped. Stories, these stories, they change fast. Yeah, I heard he didn't you get gotta jumped. got to keep up. Then I heard that, you know, Joe didn't go down like a sucker. He went down swinging. I mean, you know, they keep changing the stories, but... We could hear from the man himself. I was, you know, I was waiting for the footage myself as well. I wanted to buy it. <laughs> wanted to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon exclusive. Uh, <laughs> flip the network. Flip the network. Flip, <laughs> you know I mean? Top tier. Yo, uh, we, we laughing. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, you it it been, I don't know. <laughs> you might have made it. You might have tried to buy it. Look, you buy it and then sell it to TMZ for a bigger price. Yeah. It's a house flip. Yeah. It's a house flip. Now, hold up now. Flip might outbid him, though. 
TM who? No, he's saying flip no. buy it and flip, flip sell it. Flip to be the one to sell uh, it. Yeah. Nah. Nah. Flip Bet on yourself, flip. Put that in the picture. Yes, yes, you know yes, I mean? yes, yes. I mean, you know, we're waiting to see the video, man, but we just I don't want to happy. see Happy. Uh, I do. No, nah, Tasha K got me hyped. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I got to see it. And no, the, doc, the doctor nigga got me tight. Now I want to see it. Now I'm at. They got an ace band to join like this, the 80s. No, nah, now, you, nigga, <laughs> you, know you niggas, you fucking filthy, fucking uncultured heathens have now made me fucking rap my jerk off hand. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta go with the offhand, man. You gotta stop playing the offhand. You gotta be ambidextrous with the jerk. You gotta be ambidextrous with the jerk, my nigga. I ain't gonna hold you. You're all playing around. The offhand will not hit the same. It don't hit the same. That's the bad. That shit feel like cheating. You got bad cheating. Yeah, my dick don't even know this hand. And it made the nut come out all stupid. I was in the bed chair. Yeah, that shit is whack. You gotta get a fifi, man. I need my normal swag. You gotta get a fifi. No, I'm not back to making fifi. That shit feel like cheating, yo. Yeah, but that's the bad part. All about all of all this is the is the inconvenience. Is the, yeah, Ooh. man. Now y'all know I done played out a worst case scenario, all that shit, right? Like in scuffles, you normally lose your wallet with your social security card in there. Got to mm. go back up to the DMV. Yeah, you got your chain on. Oh, okay. You didn't have your chain on that night, though. No. Oh. No, foolish. That would be foolish of me. <laughs> the way you move, you, you move like Night Rider. Yeah. <laughs> but wait, that would is, that that would lend to the idea that you knew it was going to happen. Um, no, no. It lends to the mm-hmm. idea that you know it could happen. Yeah, so you, you know mm-hmm. probability. Yeah. Got it. Got you're it. not going to the hood that's, strip that's club that's that's late at night with a bunch that's, of racks. Yeah, on that's your street neck. etiquette, man. Yeah, not yeah. not by yourself. Yeah. That yeah. just don't yeah. that don't mm-hmm. seem wise. I am, if you're making that decision, at, at this, you shouldn't have bought it. Okay. Yeah. I don't know all the details. I don't know where you were at the time. Everybody called but you. Oh, shit. That's a fact. She, that's a fact. <laughs> they don't do that. She texts me about it. Oh, oh shit. Yo. Wait, what? Oh, yo. Shit. Wait, <laughs> what? Run tell that don't be playing. Yo. yo. Wait, it's what? It's your birthday. You get, you get a freebie. <laughs> You put, the, you put the cake in the oven on the birthday? <laughs> oh, my it's God, you pervert. I wasn't even talking about like that, bro. I'm okay. talking about oh, your rap. I'm about to say, you got to go shake it off. <laughs> <laughs> you might need to put it on, man. Nah, no. You want a bathroom break? Yeah, you got you to go shake something loose. <laughs> this nigga just snitch, yo. You terrible. <laughs> she, she, was, she was concerned. I, you hit flip. I did hit flip because I started getting texts that something had happened to you. A, the words were Joe got jumped and I was just like nah and mm. then the next thing that I saw was you and him on a live and I was like oh, okay so I didn't really know I was like Joe got jumped question mark question mark question is that what I texted you yeah. yeah so then I was just like you know what I know he's getting inundated with calls and texts, and he's probably like, this is stupid. Mel word of the day. I'm inundated. <laughs> I'm going to She's find out how he is that nigga's gone. when I actually see him. <laughs> he's going yeah. to teach you a bunch hey. of good words. Hey. <laughs> you, get all your little, you get all your little good words out now. Get all these little words that out now. Be out there on Batman words. <laughs> hey, yo, real, hey, yo, real quick. Poof. <laughs> hey, why some people from Baruch, Baruch College hit me up like, I play with Baruch. Like, oh, shit. Yeah. They want I'm you to the do a skit? They want you to do a skit? They were so offended. They were fucking pissed. <laughs> My mother with the Baruch. I would just... <laughs> uh, keep playing with niggas. I didn't even know Baruch had gang members like that. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That nigga, that don't own the college. Oh, they dude. were tight in my deal, like seven people. <laughs> nigga, the Baruch is a, is a prestige, prestige school. I'm crazy. like, nigga, wait, what? <laughs> what you said about Baruch? I forgot what I said. He, a was, jokey he, joke. he was insinuating that the only kind of professor or teacher that would, I could land was a oh, God, college professor from Baruch. I remember. <laughs> No, that yeah, was in. Yo, yo, Joe, they were sending me oh, messages. Man, this shit is crazy. I spent two fifty for this education. You've been cracking up. Go <laughs> find it. Oh man, this guy. That is hilarious, Joe. Okay, but back to you. 
Oh, okay, hold on. Look, not too much of Baruch College, all right? It's an amazing <laughs> school. One of the best public universities in the country. Mm. Y'all get a lot of uninformed shit off, but be careful what y'all say about what y'all don't understand. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, no. He said, be careful. Be careful Yo. about what you say. Nigga, threatening me about nigga, Baruch th- College, nigga. nigga. the bees for Baruch. He's <laughs> gonna beat that ass. You better uh, watch yeah, it. Get me out of that. You wasn't there for mine. I don't want to be there for you. Yo, oh, shit. I'm just saying. You gonna let me get jumped yeah. by Baruch again? <laughs> I keep playing with him. Nah, salute. My mother went there. She graduated with her masters. What would you like to know, Big Mel? Come on, I feel like this is this is your time to shine. Give it to me. No, I just ask me everything you should have asked me when you called to check, check on my yeah. health. Come on, let's do it. Yeah. Fuck you. Okay. Why me? I, don't, okay. I want no beef. <laughs> okay. Well, um. <laughs> Dude, everything. Come on, okay. please. Come on. Where were you? Okay. Skipping that question. Um, were you with a group? No. You were by yourself? It was just me and me. <laughs> That's it. By myself. By myself on a Saturday night. Okay. It was a dark Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> it was a dark Saturday night. Stormy. Brisk, brisk wind. Dreary. <laughs> Dreary night. It's just a rain dropping. <laughs> now, first, now, I want to I start with good for me. I want to start there. It's good for me. That, that, good for you now. You can't jerk off. You got to go see the hand specialist. Good for you, Dodo. The universe was telling your ass to sit down. God gave you every sign in the world mm-hmm. to just sit down. And I'm, old, I'm getting older. So, right, the time, I feel like it's November. And I'm still thinking that September, like we just, we, it's Christmas time. The time is, but this is sit down season. It's sit down mm-hmm. season. He told me that when that dusty, uncultured heathen took my good bag from the airport <laughs> and took it to the Bronx. <laughs> 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 Nigga rolled it. <laughs> you found him? More that was sign number one to sit down somewhere. Then the little fat ass nigga come with the come rolling up with the beer mate. <laughs> Yo, fucking beer mate. That's sign number two. To sit your ass down somewhere. I done been over there a bunch of times. I just been running around. Then I had my baby this weekend. I said to myself, oh yes, finally. I get to sit down. And then on Saturday at around nine o'clock. My baby said, Daddy, I want to go to Jackie and Pop Grandpa house. And I had to ask him about 10 times because I really did want to stay in bed with my baby and cuddle up. And he said, yeah, no, nigga. I want to get the fuck out of this house and go over there <laughs> they got with video dumb games to there. the fun. They got video games I did this there. all day. This is a wrap. Please. <laughs> all right, you mean it. Take my baby over there kiss him goodbye and I'm about to tread on home. And then my dad says, what you doing tonight? And I said, nothing, I'm going home. And he said, it's daylight savings time. Mm. That's a dangerous night. I just knew you would be out. Get that extra hour. <laughs> well, you lose out. <laughs> a little light bulb. No, you gain it. <laughs> a little you. light bulb went off in my Boy. head and said, <laughs> You right. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Get an extra hour. I could go take a nap, <laughs> get up, and move around. Oh, we are lit. And I get to do this by myself. I've been with people just for weeks. Like I was so excited about this. Good for you, stupid ass. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so I roll right up in. Here, here go another song God gave me. I roll right up. <laughs> I sit there for a second, <laughs> and then I step out. And the security said, we was just saying, I knew that was you, Joe. That's God, <laughs> mm-hmm. again, trying to say, nigga, sit your ass. get your oh. fucking ass somewhere and sit down. But no, because niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I walk up in that spot. <laughs> Uh, hey. <laughs> hey, hey, clearly. Hey, Joey. Hey, 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 what's up, girl? Hey, 
Uh, I'm going to see you. <laughs> All of that was the vibe. <laughs> you got to put the, hey, you gotta hey, put the accent on. <laughs> Which one? Oh. Hey, Joel. Hey, Joel. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Go ahead, Joel. <laughs> Every time you do it, I'm going to pause. Every time you wild out, I'm going to just pause yeah. and give you the grace. Oh, <laughs> well, I think that was racist. Uh, so that was the vibe, man. I walk in. I walk to my nice spot in the corner and I sit down. Front or the back? In the pause. back. Is all, there a song all, playing all, in your head? All the way in the back. Nah, listen, DJ is rocking. Mm -hmm. DJ is rocking. And it's a Saturday night lineup. It's a good lineup in here. Like, this ain't the lineup you really want to fight in front of. Like, why would you do that? There's some good-looking chicks in here. Mm -hmm. Right? Now sit down. Clearly, other people had the bright idea of daylight savings time, getting an extra hour coming out. So I do a little more crowded, not enough elbow room. Mm -hmm. Niggas are celebrating birthdays. The niggas right next to me is the niggas with the money. So it's 900, whatever strippers there is, just in that row. They do a shot, shot, shot. So what I'm saying is, I'm sitting there as all the liquor is hitting the floor. <laughs> <laughs> this is a hindsight review, by the way. So I'm sitting there. Eventually, me and him get fly. That's how long I'm sitting there. Hey, they got birthday. I said, ah, <laughs> like we you, chill. You drinking? Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we yeah, chilling. I mean, I, yeah, he in his bag. He in his bag. Uh, should I order pizza? Hey, let me get a pepperoni pizza. I'm just, I'm just telling you how long I'm sitting right, here. Right. right? I done walked outside once, mm. <laughs> looked around, came back in. Dodo. Yeah. Dodo. Yeah, I'm telling you. Good. I, I know. I'm telling you. But, I mean, not that this is too different from my normal. That's your normal routine. From my normal and routine. And you comfortable there. You know but, all the security there. But. This is a night. Daylight savings is a night. Like, it's a night. It is. You're supposed to. It's, it's one of the nights. Yeah, it's, it's one of the nights you got to go home early. Yeah, it it's, is. it's about to be some bullshit. Yeah, it's a thing. Everyone man. got an extra hour. An extra hour don't do twisted. nobody no, no good. good. Right. No good. No, they need to the minus hours. We don't need more. Yeah, yeah. We need to deduct. Anyway, I eat my pizza after my second trip back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is great. And now I feel like I've sat here too long without it. I'm comfortable now. Let me I get some singles. I know I'm going to bust it down in front of the bar I am. So let me go bust it down to my friends first because I don't want them to get mad. That's my thinking. Mm -hmm. So I get up and I walk through the crowd, bust the left. Remember, that's where the crowd is. And just at some point, a nigga with a mask pop up <laughs> and he cock all the way back. Like all the way back, like you see them niggas with the punching machine with the bag when yeah. they be trying to mm -hmm. that that little nigga cock all the way here and said bow, and the whole club said oh, <laughs> and I was like oh somebody getting oh shit <laughs> it's miss <laughs> me <laughs> <laughs> oh wait it's me so now he doing whatever he doing. And now I'm trying to just see how many niggas I'm fighting. And once I say I'm only fighting one nigga, well, now we fighting one nigga. It's go time. Yeah, we fighting one nigga. But we fighting in the spot that I'm mad these niggas was at drinking at. They crowding my space. It's liquor all over this floor. And we just slipping and sliding. But I got my all-terrain hooks. <laughs> Get a good look at them. You might need them in the same in the event Capacity. that some niggas try to jump on your ass. Out there. Hey, some some uncultured, nasty niggas without health care try to put their unmanicured mittens on you. You too might need a pair of these. Oh, so man. I got up over the over the pool of 1942. <laughs> Hemmed him up on the wall. Now I'm surprised that nobody's jumping on me yet. <laughs> but now I can't get up and keep him there because I fall. Slipping and sliding. But if I'm falling, you, you falling, falling too. <laughs> hey! Go. Get your boom. ass down here. <laughs> Nigga, we on the floor now. And it is bear hug time. Bow! Warm embrace. Chris Brown, my favorite song. <laughs> You ain't gonna be down here because he's on he's on top of me on the fall. You ain't gonna be punching on me down here, nigga. We just gonna hug and you not strong. He down there. 
You down there doing all this bullshit. Bitch ass nigga. Then once his friends seeing him looking stupid and me rolling over and about to get up, now they break it up. <laughs> Motherfuckers. That's the good one. My man about to get it. You gotta get a ball. <laughs> you gotta get a ball, my man. Yo, 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 go. Yeah. And that was that. Respect to them. Fuck them niggas. It's respect to them. And respect. Fuck still fuck them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. In this same shirt. <laughs> you really ain't changed. You know? Same uh <laughs> Yeah, I had to get, remind myself. I had to get back to the 90s. <laughs> uh, so, see, fine. See that, that, po- that Bottega fuck your mentals up. You got to go back to champion hoodie days. Well, Haynes. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> so, I did prove a few of my theories to be, a few theories that I had to be correct. I did always want to know what happened if you get punched in the face while you got veneers. I found out. Still there. Oh, thank God. <laughs> thank God. That could have been bad. <laughs> That's that, expensive that punch. That could have cost. We would have been off today. <laughs> no, no, that's for sure. I ain't coming in here like Krishan, nigga. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm not doing it. Uh uh-uh. uh. So, yeah, that was cool. And nice little warning. Nice little, nice little exercise outside. But, 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 Listen, it but, been but, a lot but worse. a good way. It absolutely could have been worse. Yeah, it could have been that worse. Nigga, my chain could have been on tour right now. Word. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nigga, you would have seen some footage. My chain would have been on. Oh, we'd have footage. <laughs> we'd have seen a hundred niggas in masks sending my shit state to state, <laughs> and then the fans would be out there. Damn, man, Joe can have his chain for a month in this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been bad. Could have put me to sleep in there. Yeah, mm-hmm. bet that bit. Bet the wife. They would have went to Starbucks with that Wi-Fi. <laughs> they would have went to Starbucks with that Wi-Fi. Could have went to sleep nights out. Could have been a jump. Mm-hmm. Could've I been, really think could have been a weapon involved. Yeah, that's, what I was, that, that's where my mind went. Should have could have been a weapon. It could have been somebody that was actually skilled in hand to hand combat. Like I, that, that's the part that's confusing me. I almost want to talk to somebody. Why would they? If they had a group of niggas, why would they send him to do it? Why do you say that? Just a little. They let you have a one on one. That's it. That's or, what I said. You yeah, but they could have put it like when we used to do that. They, we sent the nigga that was going to get it done in the one off. The one hit a quitter. Yeah. When we said, the nigga that was going was the go guy. <laughs> not, that just don't make sense. It's not logical. That's all I'm saying. It's not true. Because sometimes they send the young niggas over there to prove themselves. Or the, mm-hmm. you know, the beginning. No, he might, not just, he might have been the go guy, nigga. Or not just that. Sometimes it'd be the young nigga that's the crash out. And, and you know mm-hmm. what I mean? You, they don't know who he had with him or what could have happened. Or send him. Oh, you know, like, remember y'all was in a tight space? You in the club? You said in the club. Yeah, tight space. It, yeah. Was a, it was a tight space. Tight space to be trying to get it on over all of that. That's a little ass alcohol. club, period. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then with a crowd of people in that <laughs> same spot. Mm-hmm. We'd have tore that entire club up. Yeah. So We who- tore the whole back of the club. We, we talked the whole back of the club. So if it was more people involved, oh yeah, then that, right? Back to worst case scenarios. I could have more people with me. I could have had somebody strapped up. Mm-hmm. Bad, that's a bad club mm-hmm. for shots to just, that could have ended, sure. that could have ended real bad. And then the irony would have been that, I won't say, mm-hmm. but there would have been irony in that. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. Whose go guy was this? No, we don't do that. <laughs> oh, do you have, a, you have a theory? Oh, I know who it is. Okay. Yeah, I know who it is. Okay. 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 Oh, wow, y'all know. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. We do. Nigga, the whole streets know. That, that nigga faced and flush. <laughs> yes, baby. Okay. People know. Okay. You're so okay. cute. Hey, yo, leave. <laughs> no, I just, I don't know. Get kicked out, yo, bro. Because you on birthday mode while we on nigga time. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Oh, man. Maybe no, but it's bit. fine. But listen, could have been worse. Thank God everybody was able to go home yep. to their families. Yeah. Uh, thank God there's grace involved here. But I don't want to keep shout, uh, saying, saying uh, all of that, even though I'm thankful for it, because... It's a difference between niggas looking for clout and niggas looking to hurt you. T- total, total difference. Which do, you, which do you think this was? This nigga looking for clout. Okay. Yeah, you know, they wasn't trying to hurt me. I don't view that that way. I Not feel- if it's a group of y'all and y'all send one nigga in there to do that. Y'all leave. Y'all well, don't even stake, ask, y'all don't stake well, it, it out It seems outside. like it was just old school rules. Like you was talking shit, you're going to get punched. 
I'll take that. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, what you you gotta respect that. Respect like, that. I'll take that. I ain't never mad at that. Let me Word. ask you. When y'all got, I'm up, mad at everybody being so dramatic over a good old fashioned one v one. Well, because we see how it goes way different now. So mm-hmm. everyone in their head is imagining how this normally goes in this scenario, which on, is on a different worry. level of violence. Yeah. And you know we, saw, we saw what what the story that was read was you got jumped. And niggas, so yeah, niggas and, is reaching out like and yo, niggas you is good? and niggas oh, is worried though. Like at, yeah, the, yeah. at some point in your life, you got to get past those stages. You know what I'm saying? Past getting attacked in a club. I, I told you last time I got attacked in a club was 2016. I got jumped, and I punched somebody in the face. I popped a bottle, and I got jumped in a club in Queens, 2016. I remember how hard I was on myself. Like damn, man, I'm getting jumped, and I wasn't even nowhere. I wasn't even in the position that I'm in now. I was just, you know, oh that's Queens flip. Going viral, he went viral. It just felt crazy. It looked crazy. Nigga, your shirt, you tussling in front of people. They watching you. Yeah, I want to talk about my fight doing that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Nah, salute to your wanna, fight. Salute. I'm just saying. Like, I don't want to hear about the old shit. Nigga. <laughs> and, I, and I appreciate that. But what I'm saying is that as my man, <laughs> as my man, we yeah. worried about I you. I want to talk about a nigga that just got acted up. Because you day, trying to play it off like up. on some cool mach- machismo macho man shit. Shut your ass up. Nigga, salute. Ah, you got the one-on-one. Niggas is worried about you because you don't have no reason to be in there by yourself. You look crazy. Period. And I think that is... Joe Budden. And that is the takeaway. You away. up. Give it to him. Come <laughs> Your on. Your chain that is work. heavy, nigga. Right. That shit would have been on tour. You would have had to buy it back. You better have bought that shit back. No, nigga, you would have somebody you would have had to buy it back like the footage. <laughs> <laughs> get my shit. Somebody yo. get my shit. I'd have waited for my birthday. Somebody I love get my shit back for me. You would have paid that one one twenty. But listen. Oh, please. They not they get that's a discount. It's not I'd have went and got something bigger. Got something nice. Like, oh, you would've left it? Like a nigga, too, look. <laughs> <laughs> like a nigga. No, but say this, because that is the takeaway, right? Yes, like, yes, like, yes. Thank God that the, that the lesson came in a good, old-fashioned Feel. 1v1. Mm-hmm. I'm never mad at that, and I always like my odds in that. But it, the takeaway is you, you're too successful, you're too yeah. blessed, you are too handsome, you smell too good. No, 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 no. That's, that's, <laughs> just, that's, that's too weird. It's, no, it's, it's another, no, it's another it's, takeaway in there, though. What's the ice? You put a lot of that energy out. Oh no! And it came back too. That's that's that's, that's the, the next. That's one. the real takeaway. That's, that's the like, next one. I told a nigga that can suck my dick to suck my dick. So the lesson wasn't learned. Yeah, no. Like, <laughs> <laughs> fuck me up. <laughs> like what, how not even you, that. Like, how, like, wait, no, you got no, frozen. How long you thought of that? I told a nigga that can suck. That's disrespect. What are you, why are you saying that? Why did you say that? <laughs> We all shocked. Yeah, that one, that one <laughs> fucked me up. <laughs> yeah, like, this nigga's crazy. That, that too is the takeaway. Those are the takeaways. You, you're too blessed to move around this way, and now you got to go and do the annoying shit and interview all of the niggas and have somebody. Somebody will be present to handle that differently in those events. You just got to add people to the, to the late night detail. It's, isn't it? Same, same way you hit the driver, so the driver know what's good. Now you got to hit... A few other people add them to the late night detail when you want to want to run around and have some fun. Can't enjoy the fruits of your labor. Though. Yeah, because you can't even be in these types of places comfortable uh, comfortable throwing money if you're not prepared for those types of situations mm-hmm. to go that way. But also, if you if you're doing what you're doing, if you're speaking how you're speaking, that's, that's something that I say. Like that's, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. Like hey. like even prior to this, when the shit happened with at the at the hookah spot. Yeah, the response to that really was inviting more energy. When you came in here, I'm gonna be there every day, and I want y'all to come. Like, all of that is just—I I know I'm taking a mature route, but that's really how I looked at it. I was just like, "Dog, we ain't you too up for this shit? Like, leave that bullshit alone, fam." Yo, uh, I hear you. I hear you. No, I know. I'm, I listen. I, I get you. it. I know you're gonna I move said the I way you, you move. <laughs> I said I. Hear I get it. I get hey, it. Yo, niggas is calling my phone. I've heard the it. same type of get lecture and speech yeah. about 900 million different ways from a bunch of different people. They right though. I got we it. We care. That's I all. We really, we really give a fuck. Me- Not message, like the re- message received from hey, the people yo, me that, and Joe was on the phone. From the people that love and care about me <laughs> and don't want anything to happen to me. Me and Joe was on the phone, right? And then and then he called the nigga, right? <laughs> we was on the phone, and then the nigga called me. I said, "Yo, Joe." This nigga calling us. <laughs> then he called the nigga back. He was calling yeah. some crazy, like, nobody want to deal with that crazy shit. If niggas who care about you, that's from outside, they, they want to be able to protect you. 
And like like Shampoo said yesterday, man, you were the cash cow. That's the other part. You got to get security just to avoid things. There we go. All right. Mm -hmm. Things. So don't worry. It's cool. I'm never going to stop telling niggas to suck my dick. You're asking a lot. You're asking a lot. I'm you sorry. Never go, okay. I'm sorry. Now you just, just got to do it different. You Baby it. steps. You Baby steps. <laughs> he said he doesn't want to be in a world where you can't say what you want to say on a podcast. He doesn't want a podcast if you can't say what you want to say. That's what he said. Sure. Not over mm -hmm. a fight. I can't believe people out there are so uptight over a, a, a fight, though. Honestly, Corey's the only nigga I spoke to that was just calm. Like, oh, shit, what happened? Word? All right. <laughs> Like as long as the, as long as there's no sign of the escalation that would warrant some of the panic that I've <laughs> seen out there in the last few days, then we okay, man. I'm happy to be loved and I'm happy to be here with y'all today. Me and Corey were of the same mindset. Oh. <laughs> I didn't expect this one at all. Yeah, yeah, this is a curveball. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, I, <laughs> tell, tell me I, I, I got to hear yeah, this. Yeah, because she didn't even hit you. Nah, I feel you. No, because, right. I, you no, because I know she that, has a point. I know that God doesn't play about him. He's an atheist. <laughs> okay, well, not that type of mindset, but just the whole like he all right. Yeah, that girl good. She learned it out. She here on the fly. She clocked out. You of are this job. <laughs> she, she is clocked out that of this. That was a good one right there. Yeah. Come on. What else? What else? What else? What, what else? We need to give them so that so that we fully covered on. What is wrong with your hand? What did they say? You fractured. Yeah, that's the other part. Yeah, man. A little fracture. Okay. S something like a little fracture. Some swelling. Yeah, this is dramatic for the picture, but this is the hand that's the problem. Uh, this little tip right here on this finger. Got cut? No, ain't, go, ain't going ain't straight. <laughs> <laughs> they fear that I've ruptured a nerve that mm -hmm. makes it go straight. Down. Yeah. Too old to be fighting, man. That's all that means. And that's the other thing. That, yeah, listen, I was not coming in here to call none of y'all wrong. All of those people that told me those things, I was not... That, hey, I didn't say you wrong. I told someone to shut the fuck up. Not right now. <laughs> like, I feel bad for my girl. She got it bad. I probably owe her an apology, actually. <laughs> here's, here's the floor. I didn't confirm that I owe her. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think about it a little more first. Because she, she was the first person I hit. She was the first person I hit, like, while I'm still in there. I just felt like she needed to know we had to report our lover. Mm. Uh, babe, I just... That's that's dangerous though, because then they, you know, your girl, or your wife is gonna start freaking out, yeah, panicking, mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. why I you feel like certain things, if they're not of a certain magnitude, I don't really feel like you need to tell the people that love you most. But I mean, you had to, because obviously the internet's gonna. I tell was gonna say, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it would tell right, later. Though. You'd rather it be that than you gotta tell open your phone and read it somewhere. They ain't gotta tell it in the heat of the moment when you're still feeling adrenaline from the Rocky movie. <laughs> And now you got to deal with your girl's anxiety and fucking all of this shit. No, get out of here. I'm still lit a little bit. <laughs> this is not the time. Like, this is a proud moment I'm calling you in. <laughs> Whatever. Yo, what's wrong with the brain? So, you, so what you happened? You shut down the bar. <laughs> yeah. brain is fried. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. damn, if I continue. All right, fuck it. Uh, <laughs> she, was, she was concerned. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And she had a lot of questions, and she had some suggestions. Mm. I didn't feel like that was the right time <laughs> for any of that. Like, I'm literally speaking to you. I'm, I'm hitting you right after, and I'm speaking to you 30 minutes later. From my vehicle, mm -hmm. headed home. I'm safe, I'm happy. I'm really proud of what just... Oh. What just transpired. Yeah, it wasn't the time for that level. I don't do well when people got all that anxiety going yeah, on. Mm -hmm. Like, I need calm to just think. Mm -hmm. You can't think properly when you're erratic and emotional and impulsive and just receiving all of these energies. Everybody relax. Flip Boy said, Joe's so calm, Joe's so calm. I ain't that I'm calm. I, you can't think properly. I'm a thinker. That's it. So I probably do all our apology. I barked on. Mm. Okay. And it was like three in the morning. Let's shut the fire in the mind. Yo, that shit right now is like a lot. <laughs> and then I got 30 million phone calls of everybody doing exactly what she did. And it was like, oh shit, all right. All right, maybe she had a point. All right, baby, I'm she sorry. Did. I'm yeah, sorry. She, did. she definitely had a point. Baby, I'm sorry. There I you go. You. I love you. Good looking, I guess. Fine. There you go. You was right. 
You was right. And I shouldn't have spoke to you that way. There you go. Accountability. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down for that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes. I'm down for that sometimes. Oh, man. All right, come on. What else? What else? What else? What else we got? Whew. You've been in the hot seat a little bit. <clears throat> Me? Yeah, you. What am I in the hot seat for? Oh, we getting everybody out the way. I'm yeah. just saying. I, you, had a, you had a couple days, bro. I did? From what I saw. Explain See, it. I, Explain I, I saw, it. I saw, Tell me more. I saw um, your interview with Savon and Alex and the team over there went out. Mm -hmm. And then I saw some responses to that. Mm -hmm. And I saw your name thrown around a little crazy. I saw... I, I, this has been three years of this, so it's, it's nothing new. There's no new story in the story. I've told my side of the story several times with a fresh, clear mind. They've been on Parks I got nothing to, Parks I yeah. got nothing to bring back or say again or reiterate or clarify because I've said it in a clear, level-headed, concise manner without shitting on anybody. So I have no reason to come in here and say it again. Go back to the episode, whatever that was, 452, whatever the fuck episode that was. Hey, you remember that Sign up to the Patreon. I don't know if it was, but sign <laughs> up to the Patreon. It's, it's out there. there. It's out there somewhere. It's out there. I think that Joe went up there with Savon, and they mistold the story. So I understand the other gentleman's uh, reason for frustration with that. I watched their uh, response video on YouTube. Because mm. I was also uh, upset with the way that that was... Um, Reiterated, retold. They they reimagined the story, left out some key details, said some things that people didn't say. They have a right to be mad about that. But as far as the whole story, that shit was three years ago, bro. Like everyone's doing good. What the fuck are we got to keep treading over this bullshit for? Like the fact of the matter is, what it was the whole time that dudes was tired of each other, yo. That's really the bottom line of this whole fucking beef. Mm. There's no other detail or someone snaked someone or someone did this and that to someone. Dudes was tired of each other and they wanted to do their own shit and they're doing their own shit and they're doing well at it. And congratulations to them. As far as the rest of it, who gives a fuck? I do. Slow it down. Just hold on to your <laughs> Shout out to you. No, no. I, I that think was so. Yo, you know why you're my man? Yo, you you the man, yo. <laughs> you gonna get it from me. You the man. He was, that was so mature and responsible and so greatly articulated that yeah, let's step all over that. Thing. Yeah, go ahead. With some, with some Turn ignorance, it up. right? Turn it up. <laughs> no, I, I it's like, a balance. I, I like Park that. Park smoked that shit, man. He smoked yeah. that. Round of applause for Park, please. Uh, let's see. Please. Oh shit. Oh well, I can turn it back on. There we go. I like that, but I, I do have an issue. Go ahead. Um, mm. First and foremost, I'm from Queens. Where are you from? Queen, the, web, the Web and Idiot. That's I am, it. but I'm from, I have the mind frame of COE, right? So a lot of you have not been as successful as me starting mm. from the bottom. Tell them that they can't fuck with you on success. Um, <laughs> I've been getting a lot of views for a long time, but I would say is that one thing I've learned in this content space is not to let people who are trying to patronize your content um, instigate or allow them to get into my mind to make me react. I say that. Like, I'm not going to listen to... I know a lot of people do blogs, and there's people that blog a lot about what goes on here, and they make up these scenarios that's simply not true. Um, now, I also don't like a white man getting into black people's business and telling me what to do, especially if I didn't speak about him. That's number one. I, I take that offensive, and I play the race card very well. <laughs> um, because now I'm going to start thinking that the N-word was said a couple of times, and then I'm going to go deeper and try to find some tweets to validate my story. I don't want to do that. I don't think you'll find those tweets. I know. I'm just, uh, what, 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 what I'm saying is this. <laughs> what I'm saying is save him a couple hours. But hey, what, what, what I'm saying is this, though. Like, we talking about, you know, I did see Rory's, uh, what he said about me on his Patreon. I heard about it. Um, I have to say that you becoming a part of the problem instead of the solution, right? Dreams flip response. <laughs> <laughs> You're becoming part you know, of the problem. <laughs> You're becoming part of the problem instead of the solution because the solution would be just to, or, or you know, do your investigation to understand. You know, with, as far as Maul is concerned, you know, we have a, a friend, a mutual friend, and I've always stated that, you know, I wanted to interview him in January, but I signed to the Joe Bunn podcast, and I got a call that I was doing some funny stuff, not from him, but just people that are inquiring 
that were in the situation. Now, when I said what I said, the line that I set up here, it's just to bother Joe. It wasn't really a shot at Maul and my subliminal tactics, like Joe said, is really not that good because I didn't think it was offensive. I was taking a shot, and he understood it. Mm -hmm. I would say, yo, Joe, like just like the... Joe makes bad choices in friends because that's what he was saying about me. So I said, yeah, just like you let the other fat nigga do that and do this. It was just a conversation between him and I that we had or with others that I got some information on. Your and that's what I'm saying. Bad. Hold on, nigga. <laughs> so what I'm saying is that it was n never meant to throw a shot because I'm appreciative. I sat up here plenty of times in front of you niggas that Rory and Maul, them niggas, one of them niggas shouted me out a couple of times. I even put a picture up. Mm -hmm. They Yo, shouted me out on the that. podcast. Write the, write the time down. Yeah, write the time down. <laughs> they shouted me out on the podcast <laughs> And they shouted me out up here, flipped the script with G Money, and I'm appreciative. I always said that. So I just don't like that. So if you're going to cause trouble, I'm a nigga that's outside and I'm tangible. All this old nigga shit you see these niggas is doing, no disrespect, that is not me. I'm a nigga. I stay outside. I'm going to come. I'm well, going to record it. Hey, take me. You can't say that to me. All right, cool. 72 hours after. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you can't <laughs> do that. Take me out of that. I right, salute. You don't be outside neither. Who? You. Uh -oh. Nigga, I'll be outside everywhere, uh -oh. nigga. Uh -oh. Hey, yo. Uh -oh. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Oh, hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> the nigga that... Don't touch me. Hey. The, 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 the nigga that posted... The nigga that posted... Hey, sees the brother that posted a shirt called Fat Boy. I went to the house that I met you in, nigga. And you don't live there no more. I went there right in that backyard where I shot the skin at. I have it documented. As soon as you posted that picture that, yo, I gave the... I went there, nigga. Me and JR. Look at the cameras and call the niggas that live there. That's the type of nigga I am. And I'm not going to do it online like how y'all want me to do it. Don't listen to none of these niggas. I'm a nigga that's outside. If you play with me, I'm going to make content out of you. And I'm going to post it. Hey. And I know the doorman really well in that building. And I got mad at Fat Boy because Fat Boy made me put on that Trap Lord shirt. And I said, Fat Boy, why you made me put that on? This nigga, he's all oh, that was my best friend. Nigga, I'm going back over there. Flip chill. I don't think he lived there. I went over there and I got a document. I can provide the proof. Tell me the other address. And don't do that again. No, I'm just saying. No, no. What, why? Why not? You can't tell me to be responsible and then start over. Because they said that I you, gave location, so I went you. to the... I, I, went, I need you here, yo. I love you. Here. I went to the location and that they said. They said I dropped not, location on you. You might not be able to scrap it, scrap your way out the club like I did. <laughs> you need to just chill. Watch your mouth. <laughs> Watch your mouth. See, it's two of us. It's me it's, and JR. It's, it's, See, that's the difference. Yeah, 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 you always call on security, dog. Yeah, it's not security. Watch your fucking mouth, old nigga. Watch your mouth. JR, you're security. See, y'all niggas, y'all niggas take the y'all niggas take the high road, and I take underground. Railroads, Harriet Tubman, rest in peace. I don't take no high roads like you niggas. At all. I, I, I'm, I'm taking a high road. That nigga gonna invite his son into the scuffle. Holy oh, <laughs> shit. Did, didn't I text you and I said, yo, look at this shit? I text you. I was over there. Okay, get your shit off. Yeah. I'm, I'm not playing with these niggas. So what I'm saying is that I don't want anybody causing any trouble. Shout out to, to, to the fellas and all the podcasters. I think that you guys are doing great. But please don't paint any narratives and make it seem like I'm throwing shots. I have nothing to do with nothing. I did say something. Whether you liked it or not, it wasn't um, in malice. It wasn't malicious. It was in fun. And that's it. I leave it at that. I have nothing bad to say. So that's, that is your apology. It's not an apology. I'm just saying, no, I'm telling, I'm telling Rory, <laughs> don't mention my name because I never mentioned you. I didn't say white boy. Okay. I say a nigga that want to be down with black people. I say somebody that's misappropriation to call. I didn't say none of that shit. I don't know you. I don't play like that. Don't play with me. I will use that. I don't make no face. I will use that call for real. I don't. I don't, I, a, I, make I don't know that nigga. Don't call my name. Me and Maul have a friend in common, and he cool. I spoke to the nigga on the phone. I didn't ever spoke to you. Don't call me, nigga. And when me and I, I ain't gonna say the other part. Stop. You good? You did. I don't like that. <laughs> you did it. You did it, big dog. Because you can't cause trouble between blacks. You instigating. Because I wasn't even... Like, okay. I don't like that shit, bro. And I like that guy. I love y'all, yo. <laughs> yeah, because you, you said all that yesterday when we recorded. Yeah, but I got to no, say it again. You know what's funny? You did that yesterday when we recorded. I went home and said... <laughs> That ain't coming out to whatever it come out. I bet that he going to come in here tomorrow and try <laughs> to get them same bars off. And sure enough, <laughs> that nigga, yo, the content be burning a hole in you. <laughs> you see what he sat down? Yo, why the content be burning a hole in your soul, <laughs> man? Be ready to Just go. chill. Just chill. Ready to go, man. You supposed to hold me down, though. You know I ain't no, mean nothing nigga, bad about I Ford alone, nigga. I don't give a fuck about it. I don't give a alone, fuck about alone. none of that shit y'all niggas are talking about. Hold yourself down. I don't, I don't hold nobody respect. 
Oh man. <laughs> uh, what else we got? What else we got? What else we got? Who else got docket? It's clear it's, it out. It's, on, it's, it's, what up? Get at some of them niggas. <laughs> Get at some of them niggas trying to buy fucking property out there. I don't want no sauce, bro. I'm good. I don't, I don't, I don't. How many dabs you think you gave out the other night? <laughs> can I ask a follow up question? Sure no, you can. Answer his. Answer first. my first. Fifty. <laughs> my turn. Yeah, some sanitizer on you. <laughs> I had a question for your fight too. Well, how many hugs you give out? Mm. The dab hug combo smoked or separate hugs? Smoked them right there. Yeah. Okay. So seventy greetings. Oh, you're talking about a different hug. <laughs> nah, just nah, just oh, okay. It's about well, you know sometimes there's a dab hug. Mm-hmm. Like the dab oh, into the hug. What do you think the capacity is? In it? <laughs> <laughs> How we, we go? <laughs> Three, four hundred. Antoine, all right. Where? No, stop, yo, stop. No. Come on, come on, stop, stop. He's, he's talking stop. about the parking lot, too. Yeah, he don't know what's going on. What is he talking about? We got to be going. All right, what question you was going to ask me? So you said um, you was going over to your homegirl bar to, 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 to show some love to your friends with an old boy. Yeah. So you, you, you dropped all your money? No. Oh, okay. I, I told you I stayed there after and, and, and no, did No, I'm it saying, like, when he, when he rocked you, did you, like, your shit just... Oh no! I had on these are not these are not oh, the pants. We definitely need to see the video. Yeah. Yeah. I need to see that. The, like, the pants they, I wore yesterday. They knocked the, the Sonic the rings out. This nigga looks like, no. look like a pillow fight. No, 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 no. <laughs> look what you was hoping for. Look, <laughs> you my man. You made it home, so it don't matter. No, nah, fucking uh, the pants I had on I wore yesterday. The, the big baggy Balenciagas with deep pockets. All right, the zipper and the Velcro on the side pockets. I had a stack over here, a stack over here. Money was good, wallet was good, shirt was good, <coughs> everything was good. No headache the next day, no aches and pains. The next day I was lit. As the days went on, my hand just <laughs> continued to puff and puff and puff and puff. Absolutely. So I was like, all right, now we bugging. And then this that. finger never went no, straight. straight back out. Yeah, so I was like, oh, okay. Time to make a phone call. Gotcha. That is the annoying part of fighting. Niggas too old to be doing that shit. Facts. You are. I'm too old. I am too old. That nigga, and he revealed himself all over the internet. So now I'm real mad because he a nigga with dirty jeans. He did? Like, yeah, just a nasty. Where? <laughs> <laughs> the page I sent you, that's a nigga? Stop. I'm asking you, was that a... Yeah, dirty, nasty. <laughs> just, a, just a little nasty, nasty-ass nigga. <laughs> he DM'd me. Talk about, yo, you said that we, we saw. Stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, it's don't want to talk about the dabs. It's fine. Look at his face. He was networking. What'd you think of the new staff? They got new staff? Yeah. I think they had special staff for the birthdays. Okay. It was, it was cool. <laughs> All of their staff is good, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> On a normal Very shit. attentive. Yeah. It's just like a very, spot. very, very attractive. Look, let me, I'm going to give you what you want. <laughs> 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 the, the staff was really pretty. Um, a couple of the girls were really pretty. Um, and again, the way that the spot is ran, they are attentive, period. Mm-hmm. That's like, true. Them niggas treat you like, you know what I mean? Like the, the, I was hungry. Mm-hmm. My, my car broke down the other day. I'm hungry. I ain't eat. Um, it's and my it's man's fa- birthday. And even more so when you're famous. Now, yo, stop your shit, man. You're famous! So listen, as I was saying, <laughs> no, no, right? no, 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 no. As I was saying, it's even more different when you are famous. That was a question. I wouldn't know. Can I ask you a question? Shoot. Do you think you get the same attention and treatment as just a random person in there? Yes, in that spot, yes. Hmm. You know I've been in there. <laughs> Antoine, what is going on? I can't. What I'm. <laughs> what yo, night I, was this? Can I finish my fucking Sorry. story, yo? Okay. No, yo, no. Acknowledge us, though. And you I am acknowledging you. You're a little you. famous, you bro. Yo, it's okay. And, and if, some, if somebody has a membership to that particular spot, so. they treat them like a VIP member. Mm. So, my, my man was eating potato chips. I, he ain't famous. He gave me a bag of potato chips. The owner went and got me a bag of potato chips. Is, is that what you're doing on the airwaves? <laughs> telling us about your <laughs> man Aggie, giving you yo. a fucking bag of potato chips? Yo, yo, Aggie, not, let, me, let me ask another question. Yo, go ahead. Does everybody get to walk through the kitchen? Oh, yes. That, uh, that, that's been they spanky. Yes. I've never walked through the kitchen. That's a perk. Oh, no, that's no, a perk of, no. of, of... You ain't walked through the kitchen? <laughs> I've never walked through the kitchen. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why would I have to walk to the kitchen? The door right there. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the door that I normally walk in. That's not the door. That's not the door. I'm fine with that door is what I'm saying. No, you're not. Now, once you walk through that kitchen, you ain't. Oh, and your shit. car sitting right there at the door. I don't drive. It, your, 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 your man could be right there. My, my vehicle pulls right up. You're not listening. It's fine. I'm going to show don't you. Don't worry about it. It's don't all right, bro. It. But um, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was nice. But to your point, uh, I had a rough day. You had a rough day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Your day wasn't rough. Go I spoke ahead. to you that you day. You got it. Yeah, you, yeah, you was chilling. I did have a good day. Yeah, I was you was chilling. You know what I mean? You was you was in your splendor. I ain't see you like that since. You were saying. <laughs> <laughs> like 07 All-Star game. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> see, you, were, you know what I mean? You were saying. I, I, that's what I was saying. <laughs> it was good seeing you in your in your, your glory. Are you guys not able to say the spot the child was at? Yeah, it's a secret. I yeah, oh, got it. it. Moving on. Yeah. Come on. Is there something? Is there some? Is there something that needs it's, it's, our attention? It's some other fights that was going on. Yeah, what's up with the Tasha K fight? I didn't. Oh, Tasha K got it popping in Miami at a at a, a podcast event. Really? The podcast through heads. Uh, the story is some guy said, Yo, you, you look good. You got a fat ass, or you, your ass is sitting." We only know this because the guy that got beat up allegedly did an interview or mm. got on his Instagram and sure. responded. But with mad band aids on and shit. <laughs> yeah, like mad, mad man. Yeah. Like you should have did that. Stupid. No, Why no, would no. I do that? He can't sue. Wow. Wow. Okay. Don't check on me. Check on him. <laughs> nah, I ain't need no band aids or no ibuprofen. <laughs> nigga, that nigga getting lawsuit ready. Mm. That nigga's on the phone with his lawyers first thing this Monday morning. Who? So he said, Who? Who? The dude with the band aids. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga just came. Oh, hell. No, uh, talk about, about this. <laughs> <laughs> Not to drag that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> know his whole background. Uh, yeah, I, I think it was fake. Uh, I think it was fake. Why the story is, he said, "Yo, you got a fat ass," and her husband and some other niggas jumped all over him allegedly. And there's video of it. And Taj K threw a couple of kicks, and then they all scattered in the club and blah blah blah. The video blah, looked blah. fake. It all looked fake to me. Okay. It looked it looked like a love and hip hop set. Mm. Mm. Like a love and hip hop scene, straight out of straight out of love and hip hop. So what would be the purpose? <laughs> that was about to I have no idea. What it made. Well, I can't say that. It made. I don't know the purpose because I don't do that. Right. But it hit every blog in a matter of minutes. Like oh. all of them, the same. Which there's value in that for people. Sure. So go with Tasha K. We know she's been running around doing press. A shout out to y'all. Mm -hmm. I see y'all. Pe y'all pieced it up. I never had That's no beef that. with her. But still, just p even people that thought there was beef, it's good to see. I don't that. be having beef until the beef comes while you're trying to. But yeah, I didn't have no beef with uh with with Tasha K. She didn't like a decision that was made. She's she's entitled to that. Mm -hmm. I didn't like how she went on and responded mm -hmm. she and handled fired me on you a little bit. She, she did. did. She, she did. did. No, she 100 fired on me. But even that, I don't have a beef with you. I I enjoyed my time with you. You angry, that's on you. That's not me gaslighting and being dismissive, but that's your shit to deal with. We don't talk every day, right? Who posted the text messages between you two? She did. Okay. She did. So now I posted the picture. I was doing a photo dump. Mm -hmm. And in photo dumps, I'm just looking at some of the pics. I forgot that while she was here, I even took that picture back there because these guys' faces were hilarious. <laughs> so I thought the pic was funny, so I posted it. And then she responded saying, uh, hey, she texted me to say, hey, if you put that... Now, whatever the text said, please edit because my legs and I'm married and I'm a married woman and please just do some editing. And I was like, don't you owe me an apology? <laughs> now, let's start there. And then she said, I gave you one. And she sent me a video link to some shit where she was kicking my back in, but I guess there was a I'm sorry in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that. I, you know, women don't know how to apologize. Oh, we know. We, we, women don't, women don't we, know how to apologize. We, we deal with it up here. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's it's fucked her on birthday. her birthday, dog. Why are you kicking my back in? It, Today, not, of all it's, days. It's your birthday. You look amazing. I just Thank have to you. get you to get. It's I appreciate your birthday. that. I've said. It's I've, your birthday, I've girl. I've said sorry. Man, but the way you, it took her a long time to say sorry for some things. Okay, we're not revisiting that <laughs> no, shit. No, we're not. That was. No. You didn't like that. I'm sorry. Not even a fucking little bit. Where's, hu where's Hug? <laughs> All right, we here, man. Hugs all around. We back. We back. Yeah. Hugs no. for everybody. That How's it? You're good? I'm great, man. Hey, I'm great. I'm everybody great. good? Did any of y'all get a chance to listen to Lloyd Banks' new uh, mixtape? I did. I did. I did not. 
Yeah. You're not hip hop. Hey, yeah, yo, yeah. Queens nigga put some music out. You gonna go listen <laughs> <laughs> anywhere else across shout, the world. Shout out to Bino. Bino, Bino sent it to me. Shout out to Banks, Halloween Havoc yeah, 4. Shout out, Blue. shout out to Banks, friend of the show. That's my man. Shout out to Blue. That's, That's my man's deeper than music with me and Banks. I care about him. Facts. I will oh. get to the music though, because that boy is good. Mm -hmm. That boy is good. Yeah, he's rapping. Any, any takeaways? From the tape, I yeah. mean, it was a solid tape. Another solid tape. He's he's been on a run of delivering uh, consistent, good projects for the past couple of years. Yes, and it was, it's good to hear him again. Like just like you said, consistent. Yeah. Banks was real quiet for a long he time. He was. He was. And now it's like I got the leisure to drop whenever I want. He said he did his tape in three days. Okay. So, not mad at it, but. I'm then, done with rappers in that, that line. That yeah, line, I don't care. It's over. Although I, I don't write. Uh, yeah, I did this however same. long it took you, I don't care. Yeah. Is it fire? I don't no. even need to say it. Yeah, that's yeah. all we yeah, care it about. It was fire. It was hot. I like it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That was a thing back when me and Banks was out. So I get it. But now it don't, it don't matter. A lot, yeah. a lot of the rappers today, real quick, should stop saying they don't write. Like some of y'all should, should write, right. try to yeah, write. Yeah, yeah. Like this sit down and try to put some way. thoughts. Yeah. No, 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 not Banks. We good with him. But then he also announced that he's going to do Cold Corner 3. Okay. And he's gonna sell it himself for a hundred dollars. Yep. So, okay. Not mad. You got damn right. That's what he said. And he received a, quite a bit of backlash. A lot for of backlash. Really? A lot, yes. lot, a lot of, backlash. of backlash. It was a lot. Because why? that sounds crazy to people who don't know shit. Okay. That's no, why. That sounds crazy and, to people who don't pay for shit. Right. That's really what. That it sounds crazy. Here, I'll take it a step further. In the great words hey. of a great man. That sounds crazy to the people that consume music today. Yeah. Yes. So. Yeah. Because you pay $10 that, a month for anything. The people that pay $10 a month or $12 a month, whatever it is, and get every song from these streaming platforms, that is where the music business is, mm -hmm. right? Like, when I was a kid and we used to get the, the little pamphlet shit, whatever it was, with the 99 CDs yeah. for... 10 cent or a dollar or whatever the fuck it was. That Columbia was a, House. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. BMG. 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 Yeah. Get that it was back a, in blood. <laughs> that was a dream. I want to I want to say that this is first of all dope and as someone who has put out music through like Bandcamp or some of these sites where they can kind of pay whatever, I have had multiple supporters spend that kind of money on a $10 project. So it's not crazy. And I've bought projects in the same manner. Someone I just like and support. You putting this out, pay whatever you want. I'm gonna give you hundred dollars. I fuck with your shit. There's nothing wrong. It's, it ain't for everybody, but there's gonna be enough people that love your shit that will pay whatever you put the ticket at. And I'm probably gonna make more money than if I put it on a DSP. hundred percent. No probably about it. There's That's no the part that y'all keep missing. No like, yo, dog. I, I don't care if. Like, listen, listen. The beautiful thing about cultivating a real fan base who really will support you is that right there. I can yes. go put a project out. Hey, it only take a couple of y'all to buy it. I'm going to make more money off of this small percentage of y'all that buy it than if I go throw it up on a DSP and get .001 cent a stream. Me and my partner, Passport Gift, have put out a bunch of projects. In, in the last couple of years, we put it out on Bandcamp first. Shout out to Bandcamp. Mm -hmm. And we make more money off the week or two that it's there by itself than we do getting hundreds of thousands of streams per song for the whole album. So, salute. <laughs> There's no money in streaming, yo. And your real supporters will support you. So at a hundred dollars, if if two thousand people bought your shit, you made two hundred grand. Yeah, yeah. And they take it would take you forever. The math is a lot more favorable. Right, take mm -hmm. you forever to make two hundred grand from streaming. You won't make it. Well, they got some going around now that says uh, uh, a million streams is worth twenty five cent on Spotify. Spotify is low. Their their what? their cut is like it's point oh. They said twenty five cent. And I, yeah, and I don't even know that to be accurate. I don't but, know if that's accurate, but I, I it's 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 bad. There's a little calculator that you can find. I forgot who posted it. It may have been Billboard that. or something like that. Mm -hmm. And you can punch in the streams you want. You're not making any actual money until you're getting into hundreds of millions of streams. And Which listen, is really fucking hard to get, by the way. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying. And most artists don't even get to that level. This also, I believe, is the future of music. I agree. This is the future of music. The same way that I said the shows would become a luxury ticket a luxury item music is going in that direction and and the people that will be first to that party are the people that own their rights mm -hmm. and own their music and if you own your music lloyd banks that's another reason i don't like that it took me three days to do this shit we are already the cheapest art in the world mm -hmm. and we not 
I don't look at it that way. I don't look at us that way. I don't look at the music that way. I don't look at the effect, the impact that it has in the world that way. What you mean when you say we're the cheapest art? It's the cheapest. It's the cheapest. It's the cheapest art in the world. These songs cost ninety nine cent. Mm -hmm. This album, this EP, costs four ninety nine. This project is ten ninety nine. I don't think that uh, any fan should mm -hmm. be able to get a future album for nine ninety nine. Mm. Word. No fan <laughs> should be able to buy a, a Drake album for nine ninety nine. Word. That's a good point. Why? Really good point. That's wrong. Yeah. But mm -hmm. you don't control. If you don't control your shit, I'm not talking about them no more. If you on the la if you in the if you in that major label system, then you kind of sign up for certain things. Lloyd Banks is not. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Fab is figuring out a way now. Some of the people that already went through all of that shit now are figuring out ways to finally reap the benefits of my, their my their talent. their music. And when you do that, and you just start playing around with numbers like you just did. Everybody is going to eventually sell their music for more than ten dollars. Yeah, yeah. Everybody don't have the everybody don't have the privilege of going to get that live show, arena, stadium right. money. Everybody can't go get a Happy Meal deal, Waffle mm -hmm. House deal, mm -hmm. Burger King deal. The alternative for the people that are not playing that game, and that game is only 10 percent of music. Not right. even. Not even. Not, not even, even close. Yeah. Everybody else got to do it the other way. Because to sustain, the only way to get to the, uh, I think it was, a, I really do think it was a hundred million streams to have like a hundred thousand dollar a year kind of income. I thought Ice was looking it up. Yeah, well, I, was, I was looking it up. Finish. Um, Spotify. <laughs> it says the average price per stream is point oh oh four, which is four dollars for every thousand streams. So for a million streams, it's four grand. Wow, See that? that's ridiculous. But even that, you still got to pay out your. Mm -hmm. That ain't four grand in your pocket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's four grand that this song made from here. And you still, whatever your splits is in your contract, mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. it comes out of that. For a million For streams. a million streams on Spotify. Some of these other ones are even worse. And that's just the artist. That's the artist, right? That's before the splits and all that, right? Yeah. 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 That's low level. That's, that's, that's the low level business. Because the big business is I'm the label. Y'all are, are my artists. All of y'all are platinum and do numbers now i'm gonna go cut the deal with spotify, spotify as the label directly. for all of my acts so you can continue to have that music license it's the labels negotiating your rights the way they're supposed to be negotiated not you you mm -hmm. don't even have that phone number right you can't you're not invited in that level of conversation yeah this uh this streaming calculator i'm using for a hundred million streams would get you three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. A hundred million. A hundred. You gotta bust that down still. And you, yeah, you gotta bust it down. Most like unless you're a of course super you unicorn and you can do literally everything yourself, which not many people can. So if I'm Lloyd Banks today, I I can assume, I can spe I can forecast that I'm not getting one hundred million streams. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Right, because that's, that's that's not going to happen, especially now where the labels and their subsidiaries control most of the playlisting, which is the only realistic way to get to those to get kind to of those numbers. Because gotcha. yeah. people aren't gotcha. the biggest fan yeah. in the world. How many times are you streaming uh, your favorite artist's sure. single song? Like, right. maybe maybe a couple hundred times in a year. Mm -hmm. yeah. In a year, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you got to have that or streaming farms galore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Lloyd Banks, it's a, and Lloyd Banks got a family and always been low and to himself. He don't want to go on the road with you niggas. Mm -hmm. He don't. Pop out a couple I'm, times. I'm sure, they, they, I'm sure they've approached him about G-Unit reunion, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure he's had conversations. And he's probably been on the road. But do I think Lloyd Banks he's always on the road. want to depend and rely on going on the road for the bulk of his income? No, I don't believe that. And like, and like you just said, Park said 100 million streams gives you 300 grand. Three, 350. And I said, and yo, 2,000 people buy your shit at $100 a pop. Grand. You had 200 grand. Right. All I need to sell is 2,000. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Or, and when you have that fan base, like I remember when Nip did it with the Proud to Pay campaign with Crenshaw Tape, which yeah. I think was 2012, if I'm not mistaken. Yo, I'm going to put it over here. But if you really fuck with me, buy it directly for me for the $100. And he sold it out. And I still, he still threw it on streaming. He still Eventually. threw it on. Uh, no, it all at the same time. Oh, uh, was it? Yes. I thought it came out later. No, nope. on streaming. No, it was all at the same time. I remember because okay. I bought it on iTunes. Mm. I downloaded it from that Piff, and I paid the ninety nine dollars all at the same day. And they killed him. 
They did. Yeah, because it, it's the same they argument killed, I'm seeing about Banks. They killed Nipsey for that. Mm-hmm. And then, well, then Hove came and bought 100, mm-hmm. and then that story went out. Then the dick rider. All it takes mm-hmm. is for something to happen for the sheep to be like, True. Oh, okay, that might be a vibe. Oh, shit, mm-hmm. if Hove already bought 100, that mean that Nipsey already made such and such. That's what they started doing. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then you see how it can start to be fruitful. And then you see how if anybody owns their own shit, why would you do that? My project, whenever it come out, would never be $10. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm beating that 100 that they keep doing. Well, Nip did it again. Because well, I don't did, give a did, fuck about what it sell. Nip did it again. He did mailbox money. This is money. art. I, ain't, I haven't done this in 10 years, 12 years. I stepped away to take my time, blood, sweat, tears, internalized process, write it down, search for beats, search for engineer, mix, master, bring the real band in, instruments, guitarists. You, you busting. Fans take this shit for granted. They do. 100%. Mm-hmm. Fans take for granted. That was a big reason for my retirement. Yo, for me to make an album, I'm not part of the microwave era. Like, mm-hmm. that shit take me some time. Right. I can't go in. And I was mad when Slaughterhouse was saying, oh, we did this album in 11 days. Yeah, it's true, because we four rappers. But why would we ever say that? I hate that. Nah, I put my life into this shit. And y'all was able to buy it and review it 10 seconds later and then bypass it, put it to the side or hold on to it. Nah, I'm not playing that game. And in underground music, by the way, there's pl- like Brownsville, Kaz, a dude that's been doing direct-to-consumer sales. Griselda and them with the vinyl and CDs and merch have been doing direct-to-consumer. Brian for- Leslie. Brian Leslie. Shooter. Yeah. Shooter. Shooter's been doing it Shooter, another Shooter, one. Yeah. Every project. Shout out to Shooter. Yeah, and he told you my from man. the rip, I'm never putting none of my shit on streaming or nothing. If you want it, buy it from buy me. Buy it. Yeah. Buy it. I think that's the dopest shit ever. Like, I'm never getting caught up in that I game. still buy music. Same. I buy music. I buy music. I love buying music. Any song I want to hear, I purchased it. If I can't find it, that means if for some reason it didn't download out the iTunes, new phone, you know, all of that bullshit. But, and then if I don't have that, I might go to a stream. But I look at streaming as bootlegger. Mm. It really is. I've always looked at streaming really as, 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 as bootlegging. The, the only thing is the people that own the shit gave you the license to stream it. Yeah. Whereas the people that owned the shit didn't give you a license to sell it on the street. But the concept is the exact same. Yeah. To me. See, I, I, I think it's worse than bootlegging to me because the same way they gave you the lot, that's my, y'all know, that's my beef with streaming. Tomorrow they could say, hey, you know what? You can't hear that album no more. They do it all the time. That happened. Like, what the fuck yeah. you mean I can't hear this album no more? I've been listening to this shit all week. Now you right. just took it down. It don't exist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's no, my fuck album. out of here. I got that album. No, let me buy that. Now you can do whatever you want with your streaming. Uh, server, I have the I bought the album and downloaded. it I can listen yeah. to it whenever I want. I you do don't both. control what's in my I do yeah, both. There's, there's advantages to stream if it's something new that you haven't heard of before, or something you want to try it. Yeah, that's a, and I think as an artist, you should have some things available on streaming so people can find you and see if they like you or not. But relying on streaming as an income source is an impossible reality unless you are the top of the top. What if you could do something where it's like I put it on streaming for short time and mm. then I take it off and it's for sale only you, you like, like, that. like like that's the commercial yeah. I got it on streaming mm. for a month mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> excuse me but after that month it's I'm, I'm pulling it and now if you want it you have to purchase it that's the only way to get it yeah you could do that like I'll let you stream it you, that's how we get the word out that it's out there but no, nah, now you got to buy it. If you own your shit, you can be creative in how it's distributed. How it's marketed right. and distributed. But the, the first part is you got to own, you it. Gotta own it. You got to mm-hmm. own it. You got to own it. And that's not to deter anybody out there with big record deal dreams, right? If that's what you want to do, I support your decision even in that. And it works for people. It, it, it does. It works for some people. The major label system or label system in general works for some people. There are advantages to it, but mm-hmm. it ain't for everybody. And if you have a cultivated fan base, you probably don't need it. It worked for me, even though it didn't, right? Like, it worked. It it does work. It has its advantages. Mm-hmm. That's why so many people do it. Like, there's plenty of advantages. And you want to bet on yourself and believe in yourself that I'm talented enough that with the right push, I can get something going. Yeah, there's certain, there's certain lanes that are not going to be open to you without yeah. access from a label yeah. as far as getting on late night talk shows or... Uh, mar- any marketing type of thing is easier when you have someone else major or independent helping you well what yeah. happened and with, with the rise of the 360 where labels realize okay the money and music is down but I can I'm still a label I still have connections and relationships and, distri- relationships and distribution over here I can get your merch sold better mm. I can hey check this out 
You can't perform at certain venues if you're not down with us. And by the way, the money in music is not down. The way the money is being distributed. Distributed, yes. yes the way the money is, is being distributed is down. Music well, for the <laughs> artist is down. Or yeah. you could, you and could that's be. where we really fucked up, right? Because once the labels adopted or, or uh, got with all of the streaming standards, uh, they lowered their overhead and still didn't increase the money. Right. Mm -hmm. Ain't no more production. All they doing is pressing a button. Yep. And y'all albums is going out. They don't have to store shit nowhere. They don't have to call all these people and order and then fucking all of that old school shit that they had to do. Shipping, mm -hmm. pressing up a, a 100,000 or a million CDs. They don't have to do none of that. They're not even marketing anymore. Word. No. <laughs> you market yourself. They're not even marketing. You're the marketer. They're not even signing you if they have to market you. Yeah, go do it. <laughs> you know go get like, hot. Go get it We'll done. come in they're and hot. take the bulk of everything else. They're, si no, they're signing marketing people, Bro, essentially. So look, what stops? I'm just asking because you know I don't know this shit. What stops them from saying, all right, cool, right now, 100 million streams is 350. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In six months, they could say, yo, 100 million streams is 275. They, can, they, they do, they they do that all the time. They keep doing it. They, feel like they do that all the time. They keep doing it. They do. Yo, and y'all on Caesar ass? <laughs> <Yo. laughs> oh, no, it's a racket. You get what I'm saying? Y'all yeah. on their ass. Call these niggas. This is a, this is a motherfucking, it's the, a different type of scam. Yeah. The, he, mm. Now you're seeing this is part of like why SAG AFTRA is like on strike streaming. Yeah, facts. yeah, it makes yeah. sense. Why? Yeah, that's what they fight over. Is yeah. there a reason why like this magic number seems to be a hundred dollars? Because I saw like the reactions were. It's funny you say that about, about um, bandwagon jumping about Nips how Nipsey how everyone was just like oh you know that's bullshit. But then the reactions to Lloyd Banks people were saying in the comments you're not Nipsey to be charging this amount? Like, why is $100 seem to be, like, the magic number? I think I don't think it was the fact that it was 100 It was just, well, one, that they both did it. Mm -hmm. But I think it's, how dare you charge more than just putting it on streaming where we can pay our nine ninety nine and get it? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, how dare really, you try really to charge that. a it's ticket? Really that really that. It could have been $50. Yeah. It could have been $75. You could have how dare, $30. How dare you, who the hell you think you are to say, I'm not putting it on streaming and I got to pay you directly? My shit. That's not how we get music. The nerve of you. My yeah, shit going to be 500 a pop. Not mad at you. Let me tell, let me tell him. Let me shit. tell him in advance. I would do a stack, but I still want a few a few of the less fortunate to be able to go out there. And get it. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Like the, the, sec, the, the double up, the second time that came around, that, that he, did, he did the mailbox money mixtape for a stack. Mm -hmm. And he sold those. Mm -hmm. $1,000 each. Hey, if you, the campaign was just so genius because it was like, I'm still giving it to you over here. This is only for those who really support and want to pay. Mm -hmm. And the people will. And they did it. And they, we did it because I did it. Like, yeah, I'll, you, pay, I'll pay 100 I'll pay. bucks for a bank's project. If you make it available, see, that's the thing that, that I don't like some it. creators know and some don't. If you make it available, niggas a cop. Facts. If they never have the option, then you'll just never know that I have fans. That's what banks and a few of the independent artists out there, we have... We have we are privy to different metrics now. So now you're looking at, okay, I can count, I have a base of 20,000 people that spend with me with the merch and yada, yada, mm -hmm. yada. Mm -hmm. They're spending $300 a year with me. Mm -hmm. How can I get that person to spend three fifty? You're really just targeting your base. That's, that's it. it. It's your base. All the people that's complaining, it ain't for y'all. It's not, it's, right, exactly. The move ain't for y'all. And all y'all doing is helping with the promotion of what I'm trying to do because this is a solo move, so mm -hmm. thank you. Mm -hmm. But this ain't for y'all. It's for the people that's going to bust it down. And the Banks fans, myself, part like, yeah. we've been waiting for Cold Corner 3 forever. Yeah, that part. Too. I got 100 bucks for you, bro. You got my 100. The second it's announced. That's yo, dope. Here, and you, a lot of you artists, by the way, I got 100 for you, too. Facts. I got a hundred percent. Jeezy could have dropped this project. I don't care what it would have cost. That's what, dope. You know what I'm saying? When it's these if future people, drop for a buck, I'm buying it. I'm buying. And that sorry, was the other thing. I sorry saw. that you niggas ain't heard the new future. <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying the hell out of Word. I'm enjoying it. Mm. Mm. And if you do that for somebody like Banks, you know, if you incentivize and reward taking your time on the art. Right. And you and you don't take capable, amazing artists and make them feel like they have to rush right back out with a project mm -hmm. in two, three, four, five months. Then we might get better product, for too. For financial yeah. reason. Yeah. Might yeah. get better product, too. Hey, 
his last album affords him the ability to maintain a living for two years or a year and a half and not be stressed and fucked up while he's making a project. Right. He don't have to go on the road and fucking change his diet and leave his family and fight with his girl and you just don't have to do those things, man. Salute the banks. Yep, salute. Salute the banks. Sorry y'all don't understand it, but in the, ne- not- in the next 10 years, you better get with it. I don't think 2034 is getting here and y'all gonna be getting music for 999. At some point, Lior or, or Lucian or somebody powerful is going to get enough of the streaming sites playing with them. Mm-hmm. It ain't going to be us. The artists ain't going to be, y'all ain't, y'all ain't knuck if you buck enough to revolt. But they going to piss off some of them, some of them back there. Like, like every time they have those negotiations, it'd be, it be heated. Mm-hmm. It'd be, it, it get heated with everybody but YouTube. YouTube don't play with them niggas. But then TikTok came, now you gotta be humble when you talk to them. Like, you gotta be humble when you speak to these places that have amassed the audience and, and, uh, and the information. Mm-hmm. That's true. Anyway. But that's the scary shit. Like, that's, that's another reason why you should build your own infrastructure, websites, however, mm-hmm. whatever marketplace Absolutely. you need, because... Any of these sites at any given moment can start fucking with your shit. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Sure Direct to consumer, if you have the fan base, is always the way to go. If, and, you, if you have the fan and base. And if you don't have the do fan it. base, build it. Yeah. You exactly. got to start somewhere. Build it. You got to yeah. start somewhere. Build it. Yeah, I agree. Well said. Got to start any, somewhere. Still. Anything else in music? Shit, selling 20 copies uh-huh. at 50 bucks, you're going to make more as a small artist than any streams that you would have seen. Promise you. Hmm. And, and, then, and that's the other part that really pissed me off. If let's say he do two thousand, you know what these fucking idiots? Ah, look, it flopped two thousand, nigga. I made more off two thousand than you made off going platinum. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but niggas don't want money; they want clout. True, that's true. Yo, clout yeah. is number one now. No, it is number one. Mm-hmm. Clout rules everything around me. <laughs> <laughs> Serious. That's somebody the t- that's a real that beat. Somebody need to update that beat and do that. That's like, the title. That. But it does. I said. I said that when I was able to make it to my vehicle safely. I was like, oh, okay. What you just wanted was the moment mm-hmm. to capture the moment of a knockout. Of like if you would have got knocked out, and, it would have been yeah. Oh, all over the place. Mm-hmm. All over the place. But. The clout is more important than them niggas ain't try to rob me. Them niggas ain't tap my pockets. I'm used to wild shit. Oh, y'all really only just wanted the moment. Fucking Maddie running up to me. Joe, make a call. Don't walk outside. Like, <laughs> bitches that's used to, like, the real shit. <laughs> oh, no, y'all really just did that <clears throat> and went home to bed. <laughs> Thankfully. Yeah, salute. <laughs> yes, but no in the grand picture. Yes, in that moment, because I need to move around better and get yeah, those stupid good for you, nigga, learn a lesson. That's how I learned my lesson, so I'll take mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. But in this, in this conversation we talking about, about clout, right? That was dumb niggas version of clout. Other niggas have different ways of going about getting clout. And that's where it can get dangerous if clout just rules the land. Yeah. If clout rules the land, it gets tricky. Dog Fab said a long time ago, fame is the new drug. Mm-hmm. Y'all want clout and niggas would money? Really would do, yes. yeah, what? Do you know how many niggas would take celebrity as them over money? Yes. Well, no, but... In a I, fucking I, I heartbeat. Imagine, I can imagine. I can imagine. In a heartbeat. Mm. What? God man. is... A, do you know what's funny about God, man? As if one finger on this hand wasn't already as dumb as could be. <laughs> see, see. <clears throat> Already oh, sh- <laughs> I'm going to blast him in a minute. Nah, I'm going to blast him in a minute. 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 I'm going to <laughs> you scared me, ish. Is you all right? <laughs> oh, shit. Ish, you, look, look, she said, what's going on? Like, you scared me, ish. No, no, no. Don't, don't put that on my no, name. No, black man. men don't cheat. Black, you solid, but black, you it's black, okay. black men don't cheat. Oh, also, real quick, can I leave music for a second? And then sure. we can go back to whatever yeah. Lauren Hill said or whatever. <laughs> yo, I was picked, yo. <laughs> I'm dead ass about this. Sometimes you don't know your feelings about situations until you get into it. I went to pick up my pick up my baby, pick up Lex. It's my man. And Cynthia and I had quite a bit to discuss 
You know what I mean? So she keep trying to go in the house. Not, I'm coming. Hey, <laughs> come on. I love that. Don't try to make it fast between us. Come on, let's talk. So we talking. We talking outside. It's a nice day. My baby in the car, he chilling. So we get to have a parent talk. Fuck, you know, a car rolled by, honk. While I'm talking about some serious life shit, nigga said, BB. She's going, hey. Uh, she put her hand up in the air. Hey. What you were saying? What you were saying? <laughs> talk about, talk about. That's like the same shit that happened yesterday with, Ke- with Keno. A lot of shit getting crazy. Talk about why. <laughs> I'm glad that y'all find that as funny. No, I'm sorry, bro. It is funny. <laughs> yes, I didn't know that part. It is funny. <laughs> I didn't know. About, I didn't... About. She knew the honker. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. Oh, that's nah, I don't honk when I'm talking to my, my, my ex. Or, 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 Man, nah. that's Joe Button, nigga. He just got jumped. Man! But <laughs> <laughs> well, if it was that, that's different. But she waited, nigga. Hey, 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 hey. Salute. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Hey, he got one. Watch me go. Hey. Oh shit! All that time. <laughs> <laughs> Your shit is funny, bro. She just do whatever she wants. Oh you said something? man, that was before I got in my little fistico. Oh, that was before. That was, you said oh. something? You said something though? Uh, yeah, I fucking said something. Hey yo, hey, they tell me nigga, ain't no honking while I'm while you talking to baby daddy outside the house. I don't like that. You hey, serious? Are you, you playing? Cause you, you know you be. I'm play was serious. Was, 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 oh, I'm, hold like, on. I'm play serious. Was, was, play was, serious. It, was it the short honk or was it just like? No, it's a little quick, little beep beep. <laughs> but it was two. It was a double. It was now, a double. Wait, hold on. Oh, nice, was, nice it, car? was it a big boy honk or nice. a little Honda Civic honk? Nice, it's two yeah, it wasn't a bad car. It, it yeah. wasn't a bad car. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. disrespectful. Okay. Nigga yeah. might have brims on shit. Yeah. <laughs> if it was a Honda, nigga might have BBs on that shit. shit. That shit don't mean nothing. That's my, that's my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Eduardo. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> that's my nigga. I just, hey. But I did want to come here and be like, damn, I wonder if this ever happened to my coals and how they would feel about it. Because this is real trivial. Like, it's stupid. Oh, I wouldn't like it. It ain't, it's it ain't stupid, trivial, but yo. while I'm out here, don't do no honking, my nigga. And if you, he go honk, don't you, don't, no don't, don't, don't acknowledge you put a hand up in the air. Yeah. You, you guys like this. I'm talking about some real shit. Like, the fuck you talking about? I'm talking about like, like, like some sneakers and my life. Like some Uggs to school and like, Halloween and Christmas and you know, the birthday and I'm getting in there and BB! <laughs> 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 wait, wait, wait! It's two type of honks. It's the tap, but the so it's a quick tap. Yeah, it might not be two of them. Well, yeah, like beep yeah. beep. Yeah, it may not be disrespectful. That means oh no, that's just oh, attention. It's the attention. Yeah. They got they got the attention. Don't she, do, don't she do. beep 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 is just you know. But, yeah, I'm but, sitting here. I'm sitting here uh, trying uh, to come up with fucking birthday party plans. If anybody out there co-parent, you know how that could be a thing. Yeah, that could be a thing. We as men don't talk about it because it's traumatic for us, but. How many years you want to have two parties? <laughs> right? You be a couple. <laughs> oh, yeah, do a drink. You want to do a drink and, party? And one of them years, you tricked me. You told me it wasn't no party. Then it was balloons. Fucking mad people came out. It was food. I was just on the gram feeling like Kanye. Oh, oh man. shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling the gram like Kanye. And I just got to go to fucking Walmart, get a little bullshit kick. No, let's organize. What's up? Togetherness. <laughs> they hate that shit. Why the mom and co-parent and hate togetherness? <laughs> All right, forget it. Look at that. Kid. You know what that? You know what that? Hold on. How long, well, hold on. Hell, look at this. Couch, I'm, 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 I'm about to get you. Well, look at them. How long you been trying to do a, a co-party in, with, with Sin? I'm talking shit because Sin will do it with me. It was only one year we had a bad year. Sin, Sin has no problem doing that with God, okay. me. Me and mine is good. Me and me and Sin are all okay, the I, way good. Okay, I was good. gonna say you was inspired by Sade. I was about to, I was about to big up like you was inspired. You went there. She threw the shit. Baby daddy was there chilling. So you probably like. We oh no, do- my girl is bugging. Now my girl <laughs> want me to talk to Sin and see if we. Parks. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. I got a drink of water. I don't know. Crazy. My, forget it, man. Say it, <laughs> nigga. What? Why well, ain't y'all niggas? Okay. It's not C-O-F. I'm have to talk. <laughs> At some point. It's not, C- <laughs> it's not C-O-F. Talk. C-O-F content of a... Yo, he 14 now. <laughs> <laughs> They start throwing them ages out there. <laughs> All that it's up. been she's seven years old. Like, it's big enough. Nah, I'm pussy. <laughs> but since you already kind of gave me the okay. Which is another problem, too. But we can't, we can't talk on this public broadcast. Once you get the okay, that means you did the okay. Oh, yeah, no, you can take the baby, fly wherever you want, be with whoever you want. I don't care. He's old enough. He's big enough. He's ready. He's ready. <laughs> And if you telling me that just on the cuff, like I ain't asked or none of that shit, that means, <laughs> that, oh. that, means that means you want 
No, that means you no, did. That mean already. Reci- reciprocity. No, I mean, no, it, it happened, happened already. Happened already. I mean, I'm gonna let you go ahead. I mean, and, it, and it's gonna happen again. Hey, that means I got a nigga with money. He fly, he flying us around. I'm talking shit right now. No, you're not. <laughs> well, <laughs> you yeah. be always trying to make him shit with jokes, nigga. <laughs> you know, she ain't playing. Because I pod in jokes, but me and Tina are all the way good. All the way That's good. good. It's like shout 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 if we wasn't shit. good, shout I don't think I'd be able to even joke. We are great. Shout to Sam. You gotta say that because the fans start thinking. Like the part, the part that the part that men kind of. We, we be thinking we have more say so and control in that. We don't. Some of us do. Okay. Some of us do. You you with your wife though. Speak, speak for yourself. You with your wife. I'm talking about those who are co-parenting and want to set these rules and shit. Even if I wasn't, nigga, I'm, I'm going to make it very hard. I'm going to have to go to jail when it comes to my children. Ding. I'm a father. I'm making it very, very difficult. I'm going to make it. And Guess what, not, you making it hard? Guess what's harder? Who? That wooden bench. Yeah, I know. You, you, you experienced <laughs> and that. Right, Not me. That wooden bench <laughs> is, right. is harder, nigga. It. I'm going to lay nah, there Nah, but he was front. famous in there, so he came out faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know he don't like to admit it. Yeah. 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 The captain took you had your phone in the cell, in nigga. Let me ask, let me what was ask the captain name? Don't ask me shit. I don't want to ask my man nothing, nigga. Yo, why do you get so mad? I'm not even... Why did tell him? I don't do that. He's offended by his saying. I don't be mad. No, but I'm saying it. This nigga's on LinkedIn records. I'm just saying LinkedIn three. Yeah, why do you get mad? At what? You being famous. At fame. Time out. When I went to Rikers, I was on the pod niggas. maybe four months. Yeah, he's pissing me off. When I went to the pod, I was on, I mean, when I went to Rikers, I was on the pod four months. What good four months? Did what I'm you? saying is, nigga, when I came home, it wasn't based on that. It was based on money. Mm. But what the treatment you got him, yo? in there. Inside the judge, the, the the judge said, yo, you got six it's, months until you pay every dollar. It's tell it to them. They didn't say, yo, that, that white lady don't know no Joe Button. Antoine. <laughs> Antoine, I hate Fuck you. Fuck you talking about that. That's funny, but that's hate. Nigga, <laughs> he, he, he trying to stop. That was mad funny. Where are you at, though? When I went, where? What you mean? Like, like Meaning, you were, were you in like separate sitting cell at first? separately? You told you us had your phone. No, you had your phone. That, was, that phone. wasn't in Rikers. Yeah, it still stop oh. you, that was not in Rikers. Oh, that was, that was, that was in Long Island. Island. Cell in Queens. Oh. That that's wasn't what, that's in Rikers talking. Island. In Rikers yeah. Island, nigga, Did you have special treatment in the holding cell in Queens? Yes or no? Go. Yes. Yes. Why do you think that was? Why? I did too. What? Because <laughs> <laughs> you're famous. Right. Never, mind, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Just say it. It's fine, bro. But I wanna just say it. Hey, big dog. dog it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Doing what y'all did. Yeah, yeah. I, stop pandering, my nigga. Some of us is fathers, man. Not, we, are, not, we are fathers. fathers. But some of us go harder than others. Some of True. us are willing to deal with the consequences when it comes to their children. Correct. Stops nothing. Period. That don't stop nothing. Some, some of us are willing to deal with the consequences when it comes to their children. Flip, like, all I'm saying is this. What I'm this telling is, you is, I will lay outside the crib, yeah. nigga. I'm not touching nobody. I will exhaust <laughs> all resources to make, nigga, I'm a part of this. It's my children. Nigga, right there on the ground, nigga, oh I'm laying there. Rest in peace. It's my man, no legs. No, I'm laying there. Check the time. And on you that. will right. be right there, too, because when them boys come, they gonna you, know, you, depending gonna on how you act towards them. They're going to put that paper on No, that's not true. They know nothing. That's not true. Bro, I Can hate one of y'all or two of y'all articulate the different points? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Yeah, yeah, tell me. Where you want me to start at? You saying if you if you, God forbid, you and your wife break up. Yes. Your wife want to move how she want to move with the kids. Yes. Right? Cool. You going to go lay in front of her house. I am. They are going to come pick you up. You won't be laying out there long. <laughs> Depending. First of all, she may, she may not call the cops on me. She may laugh at me. Like, look at this idiot. All right. Because I'm not breaking into the crib. Yeah, cool. but once. Second, second, my children love me. They're going to come outside. Yo, daddy, we outside with you. We're not saying that. Hold I'm on. Talking, I'm just telling you my scenario, yeah, so how it differentiates. you get in front of your kids. Great. Hey, no, flip. What See? I'm saying, flip, flip. I got, I got arrested in front of my kids already, so that's not. Flip. What I'm second saying of is all, this. Second of all, y'all niggas always want to cater to the women audience, This is nigga. not catering. Like, not you. I'm These telling two you some niggas. Let me you hear. good. Hold on. You say I cater to the woman audience. You trying to play around. <laughs> to my, get arrested. Don't, play, don't talk about my kids, nigga. I told you that earlier, and you I, and I remember that joke you said, nigga. We running a daycare, here, nigga. Look, you Stop. said we, I want to pander to the woman audience. It's me. That's what I do. You know that. That's, that's what I do. Right now, you try to do. They don't have. They don't have. Yo, dog. Let me say. Look, you. you are talking from inexperience. That's not true. You are talking from inexperience. You are in a relationship. You don't know with, what happened. You right. I could have been broken up. I could have got. You don't know true. what exact but what me, extent I'm going to go for my children. I want you to listen, bro. I don't want to. Yeah. What I'm telling you is, is if your wife is on bullshit time. It's you nothing you fucking That's can do. That's all I nigga. keep saying. That's not true. Okay. What okay. can you do? You may lose at the end, but there's a you chance you really quick. Oh, no, you got stuff you it's, could it's, do. It's, it's, all right, thank you. That's what I'm saying. And it won't be in your favor. 
The so long term benefits will not okay, benefit you. Okay, so we speak a long term game. I'm t- no short no, term. She'll still- when you go in there banging on that door and she hits nine one one, short term. It ain't long term. You can knock on the door. You can ring. You can ring the doorbell. If she no hits nine one one, wait a minute. If I don't no know why, y'all have, why. Why do we have to hold the airwaves hostage with sure. this? Flip you is coming it. here a million times and says that my wife runs this shit. He says that to us. He has said that on here. Yo, I be honest, my wife had to pull me to the side. What are we talking about? But that right comes now? with understanding. That comes with that comes with years of understanding and communication. It wasn't like that always, nigga. When my daughter was born, I got into it with my wife, nigga. I took her, nigga. I took her. I took her and drove to Brooklyn, nigga. Two days old. What? what? Y'all never let me in? Okay. Boom, boom, boom. That, Nobody. I'm is saying more that publicly. No, no, no. Hold on. Stop, stop. Keep don't, going. Don't edit me. You win the rebellious award. All right. Don't know because it's a, it's a fact. True. Keep going. Not saying that it was good. I had my mother work for, Yo, you got to bring the baby back. Of course. I'm saying that the initial reaction of how I'm, y'all niggas not running. At the time, I was ignorant. My mother said, nigga, you can't do that. You're bugging my father. Nigga, you better go bring that baby back. And I did. What do you think would happen if you didn't? I know what would happen. I'm just saying the extent that that's, I'm willing to go to for my that's children. That's our point. But that's the point. That's okay. The point. All right, that's thank all you. We, all right, we, say. Uh, we all agree. Salute. Salute. I, I, I see why that nigga socked me. Some niggas just <laughs> some niggas just talk too much. Man. We got to. Yo, bring, what's up with you, man? Hey, 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 you want to smoke with me, bro? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Hey, your hands fucked up. Your hands fucked up. Both your hands are fucked up. Hey, hey, hey. hey. She told me. I thought I could use this. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be hard when I wear it. Yo, he said he said he could beat you up with the with with the right though. <laughs> you know, nah, you my bad. I'm telling you. Oh, Jesus. Uh, stop giving a ug uh, ad, <laughs> yo. Hey. <laughs> she told my niggas in all the cake. She went live. She went to she did oh, yeah, a video when you was outside. Us. Like, yo, these niggas forgot my birthday and went around the room. <laughs> Oh, cloud chasing. <laughs> <laughs> cloud chasing. Glad I wasn't in Mel's little cloud chasing. No, she video. said all these guys up here yeah, forgot he was, my birthday. Yeah, but I wasn't in it, so I don't care what she said. Oh, as long as my you. likeness can't be abused. Uh, <laughs> it's a real one's birthday! Hey! Who do you owe? Who do you motherfucking who? <laughs> He's so old school. <laughs> she doing a snake. Hey, listen, I brought it back. You look good. Yeah, get your shit off, man. Come on, do Olivia part. Mm? <laughs> what? Do Olivia's part. It's, it's fine. Don't. Ne- oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hey, yo, real quick. The you migrants see, wait, got... You seen her little shoulder dance? <laughs> she got that oh from you. Oh, my God, Mel. Yo, Ish. The, oh, mi- Mel. the migrants got some bitches. Got some... Yo, what? Yo, oh, my God. <laughs> they landed. <laughs> Yo, nigga, I, was, I was driving up today. Yeah, nigga, my girl had the she had the fatty on the back of her shit. Was spread out, out on the back crazy. of the school. I saw that nigga. I had to salute that nigga. Yeah, yeah. that's funny. He said, "Me and me go." They let. I had to. Draw, I rolled out the window, nigga. I had. I said, "Her shit." Had. Mommy had a spread. She looked nice <laughs> <laughs> on a little bullshit school too. Not a not a Yamaha. That's just like a a fafa. I want them bullshit. <laughs> Oh man, this nigga is a fool. I said, when did they get the, the girls? Migrants got bitches. But then I, I had to remember and think like it probably was some lady migrants as well. I just thought it was niggas. Duh. I didn't see the lady. I just thought it was, I thought it was niggas. And she called me that. And she's like, I can't, I can't hold you. She's like, I'm hating. Flip. I had a great joke. I, nah, I'm good. Can't say anything. I can't. Oh, y'all pussy, man. I know, say how you feel. I don't know the joke. If yeah. I know what I'd have said it. Y'all pussy. Yeah, y'all pussy. Say it. Hmm? No, I'm good. Well, in other music news, man, since they want to be pussy. <laughs> yeah, let him introduce his uh, cloud chasing vid. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Your man that called out the rappers. I don't think that's necessarily cloud chasing. I think that... Um, let's hear well, the clip. Well, let's clips. hear the clip. So, um, D1, who's a podcaster from New Orleans, called out Meek Mills, called out Rick Ross, called out Jim. And he said that basically you can't say on both sides of the coin. You can't say that you are about black pr- uh, progress, et cetera, et cetera. And then and prison reform and prison mm-hmm. reform, et cetera. And then you call in your very next dope album. You just I mean, song you put out. You talking about a nigga getting murdered at the red light. Yeah, he, he's saying that, that that that's contradictory. Oh. And what are you saying? I'm saying that he has a point. 
I'm not saying that I necessarily agree with it because, again, it is art and it is music. But when we start talking about kids and the, the music and the art being a proponent in leading our kids, they right. What the fuck are we... Not, that's not something I don't think could be disputed. So you don't want to play the clip? Oh, we could play it. You told me it was too long to play it. We could play some of it. So good. Okay, we're not going to play <laughs> it. It's, it's fine. Basically, it's Homeboy it states that um, in, in this era, we have almost a responsibility, and he's not the first person to say it. I mean, it's, it's a fine line, but it's, it's worth conversation. He says, basically, we have a responsibility to our children, to our um, communities, to, to try and find a different message to preach to them. He's like saying, basically, you can't be on one side of progress and be also a detriment at the same time. I love his message. I just don't like how he did it. Why? Because he could have got that exact message off without mentioning Rick Ross, Meek Mill, Jim Jones, and telling people to at them and going and getting into a back and forth with them. That comes off of it. Well, I mean, if, if, if you... If, if you, you're just about the message, then get your message out. But I mean, like, if you're just... Then that would just be generalizing yeah. it. He's making he's ma he's making a specific point That's and true. using very specific examples. No, I disagree yeah. with that. I agree. I with don't that. think he's making a specific he point. One. He is generalizing. He he went on to say that m music are frequencies, and it's no coincidence that the murder rate and the crime rate is up in certain areas because we're putting this trash in our system. Poison. He's Poison, making yeah. he's making a general point about the music that's being consumed. Cool. Now he highlighted that. And emphasize that by targeting three different people. I just think that he can get that message out without naming a name. I mean, I don't, in his I don't defense, think the message goes that, out. Yeah, I don't in think his defense, out. I don't think we'd be up here talking about it if yeah, he didn't I, name a name. I think we. I think that general mm -hmm. message has been one uh, that a million people have said, and it, go, it falls on deaf ears. Again, no shout to. I mean, no disrespect to nobody. When he uses Meek as the example for prison reform, he's saying that it's contradictory if you are pushing prison reform and you are still set, pushing a message that's sending the kids to prison. And that's what I mean by be, it. But, being a specific but, but Meek reserves the right to be contradictory. He does. I'm not saying that at all. That don't that shouldn't stop your plight. It shouldn't. But again, I think so the now you're highlighting somebody that's doing whatever the fuck they want to do. But I think the message lands and it's more um I don't want to say tangible, it's a bad word, but I think the message hits harder you think it's when it's stronger. You, yeah, when you could directly point to somebody that is doing X, Y, and Z and then preaching against X, Y, and Z, the message lands harder than if you just had it as a general statement. For I, agree. I agree. I agree. I think I think his message definitely has credence. You don't think it's cloud chasing? It might be cloud chasing. Well, I, both, both things could be true. The thing when okay. he came back with the second time and was like, yo, tag Rick Ross, tag Rick Ross, tag that Rick part Ross. Is, that's, that's whack. That's cloud Fuck cloud chasing. Cloud chasing. That's whack. I do think, though, his message is still a, a relevant message in today's hip hop. Well, then lean more into the message and less into the, the people. Tag me, tag me. Yeah, That, that was whack because that wasn't his first message. Yeah, when but he started his first message me, still had me. people. Get to the message. Not the because we still we still see messages go viral without you naming anybody in specific. I know, but right? again, but it's not taken with the same. But um, it, it it does. But it then, does, but, then get, but that shouldn't stop his work, right? Like, let's say true, you're right, true. and it's not taken the same. True. Then back to the drawing board to figure out how I can how I can amplify my message, mm -hmm. not clown or belittle or downgrade or just say disparaging things. About successful business owners. I, I don't like that. I don't like. I don't, I don't like the way you just framed it because he didn't clown them. He, he didn't say with love. He Yo, didn't love say disparaging things about them. He didn't do those things. He pushed his message. Who's he, to say? I heard it. So that's you saying that. Yeah, but where do you get clown from him saying, "Yo, I love you, brothers, and I love y'all enough to X Y Z." He didn't say clown. He didn't try to clown them, Joe, and he didn't say disparaging things about them in the initial point that he was trying to make. He I, didn't. Maybe I and he might up. not have the Spare line to you. talk to you directly, so I'm going to do it this way. I might not, and I, it I falls on deaf ears if I don't necessarily use the examples. But that I don't I put use. a name on the bullet. All right, I roll mm -hmm. with Parks. The two things could be true. I still think it's that cloud chasing. It's definitely, there's could elements of cloud chasing in there for sure. No question. And it worked. And We're I, talking about and it. I, and I hate them things where, again, I come up here every other week and be like, yo, I'm, who are these people? I don't know him. I'm not trying to slight him. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, you get qualified first. Tell us who you are first before you decide to just go calling name after name after name. Let me learn about what you said. D1 is his name? You said he's a podcaster? 
Supposedly, yeah. Okay. I mean, I I don't know. You got other things, but he might be solidified in his. He might have qualified himself. We just don't know anything about it because this is the first time he's been introduced to the the public by and large because of this particular message and the bullet that he named. That's cloud chasing. Two things can be true at the same time. We can agree to disagree. It's nasty. Cloud chasing. Cloud could be like a byproduct. He's a speaker and he makes music. He's a speaker and he makes me a like a public speaker and he makes music. According to his link tree. Yeah, I think he got a lot to do before. A lot of times, you know, this is my problem with people with messages, man. You don't have to put somebody down in order to lift yourself up. Yeah. That's my problem. I don't like simply it. Simply put. You don't, got, you don't have to. You don't have put. to. You don't have but to. if I'm not putting you down, you don't have I'm literally just but giving you, but you are you're, you're, putting you're pointing down. out something that you're, you're saying that I'm a, I'm a contradiction. Yeah. No, look, you're well, not speaking about these people. Yeah, and and you're trying that. to say that the kids are Yo, not dog, able. If that's the case, all of us up here are guilty of that. We all are. Of being what? I've been saying that. Of being a contradiction? Hypocrites. Because I don't think I don't think he put them down. Why did he call their name in the first place? To give an example of, of the shit that's going on in hip hop. This is a very hip-hop recent example. About, uh, first off, okay, if, okay, what okay. other rappers? Uh, now you got me sound like I'm on this dude's side. What other rappers are we putting with the face of being like prison reform outside of a meet? It is is him. You it's arguing home, my point? Music, but is wait. Music, so what though, I'm saying is, if the point he's arguing is. Yo, if you want to be on that side, you should not preach the same message Bro, that's going to lead kids y'all to are prison. Purposely ignoring his and the point. person no, that is no, doing that is him. Y'all are ignoring what we're saying, which is then you could simply say, yo, there are artists out there that's trying to be the face of prison reform. And blah, 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 blah. You do not have to personalize it to none of these niggas. You don't know these niggas. They don't speak to you. Go get your message out without putting other niggas down. Why is that so bad to say? I ain't even saying he's wrong in the message. I agree with that shit. When he but says Meek, that. Ross, and Jim are not, they're not the important part in this for me. I respect what you're saying. Again, we can I agree to disagree. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I agree with him. And again, I think it's a fine line between how somebody puts food on their table for their family. Mm-hmm. And if this is putting food on the, fa- uh, on the table for your family, now I think you got to go in the lab and find another way in which to, 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 to do that. Well, if, you are, I'm sorry, if, I'm sorry. if you are really sincere about what your message is going to be. Why we can't look at music as like we look at the movies? We don't think that these niggas out here, Denzel and them niggas, is actually yeah, killing like people. We've, yeah, we've even said that a yeah. billion have, times in these conversations. These I guess part of the if reason If you go is, in the studio, you should be allowed to do whatever the fuck you want to do in the studio. I, I do. think that's that there's my also same the message. Ex- can I get my message out really quickly? Mm-hmm. That's the same message that we say when we bring up lyrics in court. Like the people that are on the side of creation and making art should just be able to go, I, hey, I wasn't running around shooting at nobody. I got a million lyrics. But the going around, blah, 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 problem blah, blah. with that, Joe, is a lot of them niggas was running around shooting niggas and rapping about not it. Just, and, and, and so the lyrics was the truth. True. We not you. The movies are not the truth. The movies are acting. A lot Unless of these niggas. Alec Baldwin. A lot of these niggas. <laughs> Alec Baldwin make it the truth. <laughs> Look, y'all defended him too. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all defended him. Uh, damn, couch. Got it. But what what I'm saying, saying is, a That's lot good, of these man. niggas are telling the yeah, truth they, in the they music. They blow right by that stuff. But go ahead. What you saying? <laughs> A lot of these niggas are telling Oh, he's still going to blow my head. I'm, I'm, I was <laughs> trying to get my point out. He jumped in and said something different. I was trying okay. to finish my point. You're, you're right. When I'm, I'm allowed nice. to finish my point, then you can do that. Sorry, you're going to let D1 get us arguing with each other. I'm not <laughs> arguing with anybody. D1 got that type of power. Uh, see what I, I mean about this? This is qualified. You're right. This is the flexion. That's what D1 got us doing. Known this nigga for years. Facts. D1 said something. D1 said something. Now look, he's spicy to flip. Why does it got to be spicy? Fuck D1. Now what? Y'all got to stop. I ain't learned. Y'all dumb as hell. Y'all got it. No, peace I, and love, thoughts and prayers. No, peace and love, thoughts and prayers. What See, D, when you do that, we get attacked. Yeah. What D2 you should said. get attacked. Not in the ice finishes shit. I just get, what I, D2 I've been said. trying. <laughs> what R2D2 said. I'm supposed said. to argue with you just to get a point off? Whatever. Y'all got it? What everybody said. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Facts. Why are you talking about the now? Nah, don't do that, Joe. That's fine. I'm not, because I don't know the gentleman, so I don't want to come off like that. But, you did, nigga. But that's Cloud Chaser. He's Cloud Chaser. So, if you got a po- podcast, Go get your podcast popping, and all your messages will be amplified. But do we? So you feel like we do the same thing when we talk about other people and what they're doing? Mm-hmm. Hmm, okay, we definitely have me included. I'm saying that it's not the same thing when I do it. Wow. Because you, you got a bigger voice than <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not right. I don't agree with that. It is. It's not, true. I don't, I don't agree with that. Because you got a bigger voice Listen, everybody got to run around with their face card. I am me. At this juncture, 20 plus years in, I don't need none of these niggas' names to do anything. And nor was that how this was built. 
So when I'm talking, this is me certified, qualified nigga talking. That's what this is. What qualifies This is you? very different. Mm. What qualifies me? Is. I have over 20 years in this business in every capacity of it. I have relationships, networks, people at every label, at every agency, at every... I'm well connected and immersed in, in music in no in the music business music business now music we, this, and the music but this is not a music business conversation this is a conversation about the socioeconomic issues that are facing black people this ain't a fucking music conversation this nigga's talking about little boys going outside killing each other based on what they heard from their favorite artists if it's not a music conversation then why are you mention musicians because the music is spreading that message. Not, let me so answer you, not, please. But let I me repeat answer. it, though, for emphasis. You don't have if to for not, me. But I am. You don't have to. But I am. Yeah, I had a fight, nigga. I do what I want. You wasn't there. The fuck out of here, <laughs> nigga. And this is, if it's not a music conversation, why are you named musicians? Because That's the it. musicians are playing a part in the social, I mean, the, 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 the social, um, downfall of what's taking place with our kids. We, you don't agree with that? I think that I get on me that, I, I that think, all the time think, listening yeah. to this fucking music. That's why this is hilarious hearing you take this on. Why? I'm consistent in my points. I'm not arguing against the message. Okay. I'm arguing against how he delivered the message, which was naming other people. Gotcha. That's it. I ain't saying he wrong. Uh, this ain't a debate. Oh, that's that, that that's the point that I was making. No, you. I, I, I'm we, arguing. So you saying deliver names. without saying their names? That's it. That's and it. Ash is saying and that Flint, it's necessary to deliver too. the message using specific examples because it's relevant yeah, to the to message. You say like I don't that. think that's necessary. Hey, D1 did. Go D1. They, no, and then, then our last thing was Shit just works. based on him being qualified. He could be, I don't know the dude. He just I don't, like, and let me clear that up. Yeah. I don't think you need to be qualified to make an astute observation. Right. Okay. You don't need to be qualified. But once you start talking about other people, yeah, you need to be qualified. You have to have you have to have certain qualifications. Who the fuck are you? That's Joe's opinion. So what if this dude does all kind of work with the inner youth and and trying to help them stay on the right path? Just said he gave all out thirteen hundred pairs of sneakers. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about mentoring. I'm talking about programs to like help mm -hmm. people avoid those pitfalls that are set up for them. I think that would qualify him to say certain things. He's times. seeing it. And he's seeing these artists and entertainers that these kids, these same kids that he talks to. I don't think that's this is all an example. Talk about Rick Ross, Meek Mill, or Jim Jones. If these, I think that would just be awesome. I disagree. I just. I yeah, think that would just be great. Disagree. I disagree. I don't care. So what's the qualifier? <laughs> oh shit! In this, they in this, your ass today. No, no, no in this saying, example, like they always what, say that. Like what would it the, be? Like they say no. that shit with some sass. I don't give a fuck. No, nobody like, saying like, it with no sass. Let's keep our separate opinion. What are you talking about, sass? He gave an opinion that he wasn't sassy about. No, I'm not talking about how you articulate. I'm talking about when y'all. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. Yeah, that's not sassy neither, nigga. We could disagree with you. We could fight. We could. What's up with you? Oh shit! He's trying to get his look back. Oh, oh, it's this episode is called Let's Fight. That's it. Oh man, you got you. Oh shit, it's just quick. Look, you back on him, man. Look, you right back. Look, muscle. Yeah, yeah, you right back. Yeah, look how easy that was. Oh my god, he moves over here quick. This nigga's an idiot. That nigga got a little burst. Should have been there with him, sir. Oh, you should have been there with him. I ain't got no money to be throwing. You know what I mean? That nigga got a little yeah, burst. Hey, hey, Big Po, do me a favor and put that to <laughs> 70, please, if you don't mind, when the sun comes out. It did get hot. I hate white people touching the temperature. <laughs> <laughs> did you put it on 70? White people 70 is different than on Did you put it to 70? It's 70. It says right. 70. <laughs> I hate white people. What is it? Like, you say turn it down. I hate white people touching 60. Oh, no. It's a surprise every time I come in here oh, to work. Man. It's either too hot or brick. It's never appropriate <laughs> for what the temperature is. I don't understand why we don't just leave it on like 70 or 70. Because it always get, does some automatic funky yeah, shit. Automatic. And it got what, some auto set. I there. tried to go and reprogram it. Hopefully it worked. America is about division. And oh, I don't shit. think they abandoned that when they started putting the temperature <laughs> things up. This is another way for white and black people to argue and fight. Yeah. It's we true. talked about that yesterday. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, 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 they got no, no, no. Crazy no. yesterday. No, that's Ooh, gender wars. That and gender wars. That's gender wars. That's, that's what, what that yeah, shit it's is. It's all the above. That's, oh, oh that's shit. Gender wars. And I got you. Uh -oh. Back to gender roles. <laughs> back to gender roles. Yo, you let your girl touch the thing in the house? Yes. What thing? The, the temperature thing. Oh, thermostat. Oh, my girl can't touch that shit. My girl white. So why would you do that? <laughs> you not. <laughs> it's like, nah, my girl, oh, no. 
I, my my girl, girl's reversed. My girl, no, not to touch that. White shit. people could take the cool. My girl, that my is girl that is that. true. Girls shouldn't even look over there at yeah, that yeah. thing. <laughs> Girls don't even deserve the updated one with the circle. They should, <laughs> they should get the old school shit. <laughs> they should get the slide. They slide, slide that shit down. They get the slide. Yeah, they the get the slide. They'll fuck that shit all yeah, up. You don't want that. The dirty brown <laughs> joint. <laughs> that manila. Yeah, the dead dirty shit on the wall. <laughs> hey, go slide that down. <laughs> oh, Fucking ungrateful. Oh, 73. Yeah, you don't deserve it. Honeywell. The Honeywell joint. The Honeywell. That's it. the Honeywell. 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 Tell this nigga build houses for a long time. Oh, damn, bro. Oh, man. That dude, nigga man. burst on you. Oh, you got the drop on me. Yo, you did. I, 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 I got to get back active. Nah, you good. I don't want no problem. 0 and 2, that nigga's getting the drop on you. I don't want no problem. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm 2 man. and 0, and that nigga's sending niggas. Like, <laughs> I'll tell you what. Yo, yeah, you are a fool. Be careful yo. where you put that zero at. Uh, <laughs> what else? What else? What else is in music? Y'all, um, y'all was pissed that Lauren Hill went on stage and defended herself because Ice is a Lauren Hill hater. Get told, told the truth. Yeah, come on, get your Lauren Hill hate out, Ice. Come I don't on. hate Lauren Hill, bro. What what you just said? You're a hater. No, I didn't just, say you hate her. She just went on there and was just like, "Y'all lucky I'm even here." I haven't showed All y'all complaining about me being late. Y'all lucky that I even blessed the stage. Y'all lucky I'm up here. It's a privilege and an honor to see me when I'm up here. Yeah, art. She's right. Art. That's time how out, art. That's out, how art should time. be handled. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> yes. Please tell me the context in which she said this. She no, said that, like that, that's yeah. it. She Lauren was late as fuck. For be, no, she's known for being late. Yes, that's her thing. Late as hell. And she's also known. Was well, she at a paid venue where she? Was yes. 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 No, they not lucky. Yes, y'all they know are I lucky. Defend Lauren Hill, dog. Yes, I'm they from are my lucky. Fuck. They're not. I pay for a service. That's like the nigga, the good chef, telling you, you lucky, you get a chance to taste my steak. Ish. But you are lucky to get No, you're not. I paid you for the steak. No, I cannot be here making then steak. I, then you wouldn't be, then I wouldn't be able to pay you. Me back to the argument. That's dead. Nigga, you wouldn't get my yeah. money. You wouldn't be able to be charge me for the shit if you're not here. You kidding y'all, me? Y'all are lucky that I decided to show up to do all hey. of the... Can I finish my point yeah, before y'all... Sh- no, no, go ahead. I have no, one no, question. No. Yeah, but no. No, What's a consultation? You, no, everybody... <laughs> everybody... <laughs> And especially y'all. Excellency. <laughs> I'm sick of this couch today after a fight. Look, no, silence without y'all stupid feet shaking. Look at y'all. Nigga, hurry up with your fucking point, feet. you fucking do dodo. That. Let it, get, get, get your shit off. Dog. No, I'm just about to repeat what I'm saying, but still. Uh, it is an honor and a privilege that Lauren Hill, who doesn't typically tour, mm-hmm. who most people recognize as having a classic album, mm-hmm. a classic that can and should be toured and performed in a moment Agreed. where all of the old school acts are touring their couple leg. Of too. They, they, they perform, couple of them hoes, too. A couple of classic yeah, Come on. They, they, all of the acts right now are uh, touring their Classics. classic and legacy Correct. album. Indeed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is an honor for Lauryn Hill fans to be able to see her. When I went to see Jill Scott. <laughs> she, that, brought, she brought that, out the Outlaws, man. And that was a, that was an honor. Yo, there's mad people out there that want to see us go on tour. Mm-hmm. And they ready to pay for it. True. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're saying the same thing we were saying about the $100 album. Guess what? They, your money is rendered useless in your pocket. Know why? Because we ain't do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So once you, cop, once you decide to do it and you want to reply to rumors, I have no problem with you saying, hey, it's a privilege to see me. The art should be recognized that way. It should. I think they are. That is disrespectful. No, stop. Fuck. Oh, good. When they pay you $300, $400 a ticket, they are recognizing your greatness and your art and appreciating both. So now you need to appreciate the marriage that you have just made to these people that got kids at home that might have taken their light bill money to come see you and show the fuck up on time. Wrong. And my nigga, I'm wrong. a Lauren Hill stand. Wrong. <clears throat> wrong. Wrong. And wrong. And I'm stopping all of that cap about artists having to be appreciative. No, they don't. They don't. They don't. They don't at all. Back to my earlier point with they Lloyd don't. Banks. Sometimes niggas is only concerned about their core. Sometimes, hey, but if, you, I, mm, sometimes nigga, if I, sometimes if, <laughs> if I, nigga, so what? <laughs> Yo, you'll be the, this will be the third fight. Sometimes I'm cool with that. Some, <laughs> sometimes if you saying something that sounds foul and wild. You saying it to the people outside your core. You're not talking to the people that support you. Dog, all y'all got to do is stop paying the shit. That'll teach you right there. Stop paying They it. won't. And they need to. that's my core. The core that you say. When you start is disrespecting one, your core, yes. you talking uh, all of your I'll fucking fans. Yeah, I gotta give Ooh. a little bit of pushback. I gotta Ooh. give a little bit of pushback. Yo, I, I, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Nah, hold on. At, this point, at this point, 
If you pay to go to a Lauryn Hill show, you deserve whatever the you fuck ain't happens. He's right. exactly. I don't want to no, hear right. shit no okay. more. That's, that's, that's exactly the point. point. They know she's that's back, about though. to be the point oh, that I was about to make. If she show no up one is buying a Lauryn Hill concert ticket in 2023 thinking that she's about to be all the time. Thank you. So, so, the, so the 200 people out of the 20,000 people in the audience that are pissed off are just going to be pissed off. Wait a minute. And I'll take it a step further than the great words of this fucking nigga right here. Uh, <laughs> she said that and the crowd erupted. <laughs> Happy. Thank yeah. God. Ah, we are seeing a queen. A queen. She's a queen. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't boo her. Y'all are not they victims. They didn't boo her. Y'all are not victims. Look Y'all are you. volunteers. Remember, and that's hate. It's Look, not hate. You're saying that is hate. He's no, it's not. percent correct. It's not. Yeah, Y'all are not victims. Hill, though. Huh? They ain't boo her. They accepted it. They, they, I'm a they, Lauren they Hill cheered her stand. on. If I go to a Lauren Hill concert, I'm clearing the schedule. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're not getting home. It's going to be, you stay with... Grandma. grandma for the night. <laughs> you got you got you call it off of work I'm tomorrow, baby. It's work. gonna be a late yeah, night. Like that's crazy. I, I ain't going. Nah, fuck that. No, you ain't I'm going. Well, and you've said many a time, hey, I'm not going to a Lauren Hill. So you've said that shit. And, before. and I'm exactly. So I don't want to hear, like you said, at this point, mm-hmm. I don't want to hear right. the people that went to the show complain no more. You're right. Mm-hmm. The way you, if you want to send a message, it's not to sit here and jump on your phone and yo, I went to her show and she did the bullshit. No, you know how you do it. Stop paying. He's right. They're not the fans anyway. Yeah, good luck. The ones that's complaining is not yeah, the fans anyway. Yeah, but if it's if if, if the venue holds ten thousand or or, or, or fifteen thousand, and it's just a diehard Hill fan, and you know she's about to be. But up. what I'm saying, if the venue holds ten thousand, fifteen thousand, and the diehard fans, there's only three hundred. Let them three hundred buy the tickets. That won't Let be that the case. venue yeah, happen, and then us. you'll see. I'm, I'm just throwing numbers, bro. I'm just throwing numbers. Those numbers are skewed. I'm but just the throwing people, numbers. The, my the dog. people that those numbers apply to wouldn't be on stage saying it's an honor to be here. I'm just happy she brought the outsiders. I'm Rod digging them for the combo. I would like to yeah, say that. Yeah, shout to Rod. Yeah, y'all supposed to be shout rapping to for the door. I, oh, hey, I do. What we do? Again, I'm a Lauren way of Hill stand. I fuck with Rod Digger, Young Z, all of them. What I'm talking about is business wise. A nigga paid for your product. You can't tell them niggas an honor to have my product but, so I could do whatever I want. You know what's funny though? If Beyonce walk out on stage or her tour and say, "Yo, to everybody here tonight, I just want you to know, it is an honor and a privilege to see what I'm about to do." Boom, boom, boom. That crowd is going crazy in the seats. You, you know what? You know what? You know what? Though they might Beyonce would not confetti do that. <laughs> confetti falling. Beyonce from the stage. would not do that because she appreciates her fans. No, Beyonce <laughs> would do that, and even if she did it, and the show supposed to start at nine, and she came out and said that bullshit at nine. All right, let's dance. If you came out at 10.30 and said, yo, I don't know what the fuck y'all complaining for. I'm doing y'all a privilege. Nigga, it's not free. It's you would be late to the stage if we toured. Shut up. (laughs) (laughs) What are you talking about? I'm just letting him get his shit off right now. But as he's talking, I'm I'm trying to imagine. He 100% would be late to the stage. Don't let it be like a local show. Yo, I'm I'm peeing. Imagine (laughs) something stupid. No, no, no. (laughs) Imagine a local show. Where, yeah, yo, ish. Nigga, where are you, my nigga? We I'm going around the I'm, phone. I'm, nah, 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 I'm in Elizabeth. <laughs> yo, nah, I got in an accident. It's crazy. Nah, my yo, car it, just stopped work. It's, it's traffic by the tunnel. <laughs> yeah, nigga, we supposed to be here four hours ago. Nah, you got a big dog. We I don't want no <laughs> sauce, bro. I'm a, again. Shout to Lauren Hill. Shout to Rod Digger. Shout to Jersey. Big, big, big Jersey. Jersey. Big Jersey. But nigga, paying you got to deliver, bro. I bet the show was great. <laughs> Actually, I saw a bunch of people at the show saying it was a great show. I was going to say, that's all I heard. Fuji's out. Like, yeah. Yeah, be, get there whenever you want to get there. It's cool. They got Flip. a bar, right? Huh. They got huh. a bar, right? Yeah, word. Exactly. <laughs> um, Any more music news? Wait, hold up. Oh, real real quick. Because the sun is shining. You see it? What about it? I didn't know you were so into weather updates. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually you see? I was uh, interested in following the weather after after the post. <laughs> it's beautiful out there, right? You see? But well, he knew, Joe, not- he knew that. <laughs> he knew that. Why are you hating? Why are you watching my story? <laughs> She's fire. Yeah. You do a lot of promotion. She's fire. Yo. Yo, She's fire. Flip, Flip gotta stop, yo. She's fire. That married niggas away or just I don't know. Hey yo, the weather star, channel eleven. She looked good. She looked <laughs> She made me want to watch the weather. Shout out to the weather star. T H E W E N T H O. She's fire. The yo, weather... why are you going so crazy she right now? She looked good, nigga. Like I'm, I'm Why are you, but you going crazy? She from LA and she in New York, lit. 
Oh, she in New York. Huh. How you know she, she in New York, huh? She, oh, she, oh, don't There's a lot oh, of weather shit. here, Joe. My fault. My fault. There's more weather here to cover. Oh, yeah, nah, that's, that's true. She's trying to expand her shit. Nah, that's you, true. How many days are you going to say yo, 70 yo, get out my stories, nigga. What, what page you be watching me? You got a fake page. He be nah, watching the, niggas. The, the, the chick's been asking me what's my fence style. I don't have a fence style. Yo, little, little foot game is I don't crazy. have a fence style. Oh, shit. <laughs> you said what? I so they're good. about to bond. They're about to bond. <laughs> Clear out. <laughs> Say shit. They're about to bond. <laughs> they are. There you go. There you go. There's the bond. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All right, what else? What else is what else is going on? No, I was just saying other music news, man. Um, Tory Lanez finally is dropping the Alone at Prom Deluxe. A lot of people, myself included, are really, really, really happy about this. Um, it drops next Friday. So. Oh yeah. Alone at Prom is still one of the best R and B albums that I've heard since it dropped, and I'm looking forward. To, I've been we've been wanting the Deluxe for a long time. It's finally here. That's it. Mm. I'm gonna do something. I'm excited about that. How many new songs do we know yet? I don't I don't know anything about it. Got it. So people's mad though. Yeah, of course. Why though? What are they mad about? They put up that he's dropping. Still well, public enemy number one, my nigga. That's true. Still gotta, gotta pay, still gotta keep them niggas off his ass in that in the jail. Nigga, I need some <laughs> new music. <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. What? Oh, I'm excited about it. And uh, that that Meg shit still fire to me. Same. It is. Mm -hmm. That's why I've been playing. I had that shit on repeat. That shit is tough. And it keep getting but what a beat. That beat is bugging. That beat is hard. That beat is hard. Um, all right, what else? What else? Uh, in Deluxe album news, Dirk announced that he's no longer dropping a Deluxe album. Uh, he didn't even announce that. That Deluxe just, it was, last we saw, he was at the fight and had the shirt on saying it was coming in August, end of August or something. Mm -hmm. And we never heard another word about it. But then he just announced that he's dropping a new album this Friday. And it's, it's not oh, the so deluxe. fuck that deluxe. Yeah, it's just fuck the deluxe. I okay, guess. I am. I mean, usually his. I feel like his deluxe be whole albums. So they always yeah. For the last three albums, he's come back with the deluxe that was an entire album. I appreciate them. They want niggas hustle. I'm long niggas. But this is Stay what in this studio. is. You you kind of have to do that if you're playing the major game in the streaming game. She you got to. to. You have to keep. You can't go a year without dropping. You're right. That's some sick sense. shit. They, they got sense. us conditioned to. That is some sick shit, yo. Put out more shit for us to take all the profit from. The only way to beat the system is to give us more shit. That you what? ain't beating it. You're not beating <laughs> it. You're not beating the system. He's working harder. That's crazy. That shit is fucked up. Yeah, they got him. Um, let me get this phone call out the way really quick. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Yeah. Two seconds, you guys. This is important for all of us. Yeah, no doubt. For each and every one of us, mm -hmm. especially my cleaning lady spoke to me this morning. Hey, buddy. Hey, Keeb, you all right? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. How are you? I'm great. I'm live on the air. Just wanted to give you a quick message. Okay, please. You're fired from ordering oh. chips to the pot. Yeah, oh, yes. Yo, <laughs> Robert Paul. Robert Paul. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I, I thought it was something important like fantasy football. Oh, chips. Oh. Okay. No, oh, no. Our, our our sustenance. Sustenance. All the snacks. All the snacks. I already did the fantasy move. You see it? You see him? I, I did see it. I like it. I love where your head is at. You we're, we're are dialed in. Can you, can you wow. acknowledge the fact nice. that you buy bad snacks? You are fired from buying Now, the snacks. fruit snacks are good. Wait, That's I, the one thing. You day. like your uh, salt and vinegar chips. I thought we... I thought not salt and vinegar pita chips. Yeah, yeah. Regular old black people wise bonton. <laughs> they wise. Try to look up, they try to look up, they <laughs> I took some arts. Wise. Uh, uh, yeah. But when I ordered good snacks, it's just like, keep, those, keep that shit away from me. It's, it's too good. We don't want I, that I many lentils, yo. People don't eat lentils like this. We don't this. want seaweed Keep. chips. You got I don't know why the lentils are there. I thought I canceled the lentils. <laughs> no, you oh, didn't, Keith. You keep ordering them. My cleaning lady said that we have too many box of boxes of chips. Please tell someone to stop ordering them. <laughs> then I, got, then I came here and the guy said, yo, what the fuck is it? You're done, you're done yo. You got a week to rectify it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can do it. I can do it. I, I can, can do, do it, it, boss. Give me another chance. All right, man. Oh, Good. Have my man right there. Shout to Keeb. Thank you. Shout to Keeb. Shout to Shout to Keeb. Shout to Keeb. But yeah, he's about to get fired from the chip. <laughs> yeah. Bro, chip, chip, chip duty. Crazy. Yeah. So I got fired from ordering Uber. You Peace. got fired from ordering food for us. Yes, yeah. that's true. It's over for you. Don't do it. Um, <laughs> let's see. What else? What else? What else we got? Lauren Hill, D1, Gender. What else? We did that already. Tosh K. Fire did that. Anything else important? Ish. Um, it was ish. It was ish standing on your vinyl shit. I ain't like that. Yeah, I, I, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We I ain't forget like what about you did. that. I didn't like what you that? did, because that, that was hate. That was fucked up. That was yeah, hate. I don't know what y'all were talking about. Yeah. Last time on Joe's you vinyl had, you had album. The vinyl. That you had was vinyl. over there on the table. Somebody had said, I know who that's from. Yeah. You're like, oh, yeah. That's, that's stunning. stunning. Yeah, no, you stunning. Oh, I know who that's from because they, they sent that to me. I've been had that. 
I didn't say any of that. Look at this nigga adding dialogue. You did say that. You I said, said yo, she it said was, it to me first, nigga. I did. Oh. Well, who Ish. played the sleeper? Who played the sleeper? We both have supported her. We uh, both have supported I've her. I've played her first, but we both have supported her. <laughs> the real R&B head of the pond. Okay. Oh, man. Is another uh, thing to say? Who are we talking thank about? You Maida? The, thank so, you for the compliment. I didn't. You know what I mean? We teach you the, 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 um, the DJ game. And y'all could, y'all could battle. Oh, there I'll you whip go. Whip Joe's ass. I'll get me one of them. What's that called? Serato? Yeah, you get you a Serato. <laughs> whip his ass with some Serato. You should play some old school shit. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, it's just playing vinyl. It's just on a memory. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> Olivia. You know what I mean? I know, I know you got the benefit of a father that was a musician. Brad. Yeah. Brad. What's up, Brad? Brad B from money. somewhere. Brad from Trade 34. We'll Try to go that. through a few of these. Uh -oh. Okay. Says, good morning. I have an honest question for Flip. Mm. A lot of your peers come up from internet skits, transitioned to flourish in stand-up comedy, and moved on to movies. A lot joined the Wild and Outcast, got around season comics, and developed a set. A movie like The Blackening with just a bunch of internet comedians, I think you would have been great, and I agree with that. Mm -hmm. You're very animated, and I think you would be a great New York comic. Have you ever thought about trying stand-up? That's from Brad, and that's directly to you. Thank you. Look, and he's the king of being rebellious, so he's just going to tell you to suck his dick. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Fuck you, motherfucker. No, 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 no. no one tells don't, me what to do. Don't try to make me do good. Don't tell me how to do my content. Don't ever tell me what to do. Oh, my shit, I got 20 million views. <laughs> <laughs> he he like that shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't hit me. Go ahead. Um, yes and no. I mean, you know, Ian and them was trying to get me to try stand-up and a bunch of people, but I declined. I'm not really into stand-up. Um, a lot of things with me before coming up here are, are ego-driven. So while and out, I thought I, didn't, I, I thought I shouldn't have, I thought that I shouldn't have to do uh, audition, which I was wrong. I was out of line, I was out of pocket, cocky bullshit. Like, I don't know, I'm Queen's I'm gonna do auditions, but everybody do auditions. Mm -hmm. So you learn your lesson through these trials and tribulations. So, like, you know, I, I do things different. I think a little bit different now from before then. And, and a lot of times I act based off of emotion, not be jaded. So when something jays me or when I feel a way about something, it affects how I move across the board. But now I look at things from a different perspective and I'm open to doing other things. I'll just say that. That's and I'll leave it at that. That's I was going to say, because a lot of the, the, the first part where you said that um, you never saw you, you never wanted to do stand up, never saw yourself doing it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't even know that something could be right there and be good for you until you actually try it and do it. Yeah. Like, True. I was very anti all of this. Any of this shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all know for yeah. years. And you sit down and it's like, oh shit, all right, cool, this works. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking into it. I mean, we got something that works. All right, we okay. got to gotta, gotta, gotta help a few of these people out here. Uh, oh, man. This, is our favorite, this is our favorite shit to do. Our, Facts. Mm -hmm. Artorio. Uh, Artorio. Artorio. Artorio, I'm not going to call you, but I feel you, my guy. Artorio says, yeah. 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 So, Joe, your homegirl Shanti is my ex. Oh, shit. <laughs> you should wait. She broke, that one. she broke up with me in 20... <laughs> no, let Shanti do what she's doing. <laughs> she broke up with me in 2018 after saying I ruined her birthday, and I never got the chance to explain my side of the situation to her. Oh, let's do it here. That nigga begging for that <laughs> box back. <laughs> I'm sure all you niggas can understand why I never got over her. LMAO. <laughs> you horny as hell. <laughs> no, nigga, we, we don't look at her like it's that. It's been the block know. season two. Sorry, but it's cool. That's our homegirl, nigga. You horny. Uh, was hoping you could call me. No. Maybe me explaining <laughs> and y'all speaking on it could help her understand my side of things. Damn, I kind of do want to call her. Which is AKA, Joe, please get I her never back got close. I never, huh? I never got closure over that shit and been uselessly emailing her ever since. Oh, oh shit. You're man. emailing Shanty? For five years? Yeah, it's over, buddy. This nigga wanted this red while she was sitting here. I don't man. expect much, and I'm sure that thing, is, that thing is gone forever. You know, I, I, I can tell you, buddy. Yeah, sorry. It's a wrap for you. But. Might not. Hey, hit I, oh, Ice, give him some hope. Yeah, give him some hope. Yeah, yeah. He continues. Hold up. But at least I want her to know the truth and maybe be cordial. She was begging, baby. Damn, nigga, at least try to be friends or something. Damn. Oh, yeah. Don't oh, think man. I'm some corny simp nigga, though. <laughs> I've been him. <laughs> and my shit is in the rafters, too. 
Oh, you can't. I would just hate to never speak to someone uh, that I had such a deep bond with. <laughs> it's so sound rafty ish. At all. It does not sound all. like you, nigga, you it are the 19th like, man off like the bench. High school gym drafted. Drafted. Not even. Not, not even. even. You Red the, shirt. Yeah. You ain't even make it. You tried. Yeah. You went for tryouts and I, it was like, nah, not you. I've been him, Damn but I mean, you guys. Look at y'all saying Jesus. disparaging things to the paying customer like Lauren Hill. <laughs> it's fine. I can't clap, but <laughs> it's pathetic. We delivered our service. I can't clap. Why is that so pathetic? Uh, fuck you, Bar. <laughs> Side note: All I lost got me through the uh, through that breakup. So I appreciate you, Joe. Been a Pod fan since the beginning, and you're one of my favorite rappers. By the way, she used to say I was corny for listening to the Pod, and yes, oh, and that's, yes. That's, that's corny. Oh, he said, right. he said, and yes. That's hate. Flip voice. Oh, okay. He got it. Oh, he, he got it. He got it. He got it. He cleaned it up. Call that nigga. <laughs> call that nigga, please. I want to talk. Call that nigga right now. Call him. Yo. Call him, nigga. That nigga is. No, I'll call him Patreon. Yeah. Bet. Because I, I want to read. This brother sounds like he really needs us as well. All right, bet. And then I'm done. <clears throat> but everybody needs closure. Sure. Fuck closure. I don't know this name. Miss. Miss Cizelinda? I should call her. You put a little accent on that shit. <laughs> Miss anything with a Z. Miss she C- might got that scissor. Miss scissor. Yo, go run out somewhere. Yo, go run it out. Get that shit out. Go in the Clyde's mad bathroom seat. <laughs> Take yo, some paper get towels. Get that shit out of your system, yo. <laughs> and you like it. And you do some freaky shit on your phone. Yeah, look, that nigga is a freak. <laughs> Yeah, I'm stitching, nigga. All right. This nigga different, bro. Miss Sizzlinda says, good day, family. I hope everyone is good. This is a little lengthy, so follow me here. Huge love from South Africa. Been here since 2014 on SoundCloud. An anecdote to set this up. A couple years ago, almost to the day, I broke up with someone, someone I was certain I was about to marry. Had the engagement ring, family convos almost done, and everything. Let me rather say she broke up with me. Mm. Following the breakup, we spoke for less than a week for her to kind of get her chest cleared, and I was still kind of dumbfounded, so I couldn't really speak speak. But I understood where she was coming from as I listened. Long story less long, we stopped talking completely after that week. Although her immediate family, her mom and her little brother, still contact me now and then, she has made all means to sever ties with me but her family still being in touch with me kind of throws me. Again, she broke up with me, got the week week to get her shit off, and then I was left developing questions that I couldn't get answers to. See, let me stop and say, that's why I don't give chicks the closure conversation. That right there. Mm -hmm. Don't come to me and get all the answers that you need, and now when I get some, I can't talk to you no more because I kept it real with you. No. Let's stay in separate corners with our questions. And we don't Move need on. the other person for closure, but I'll continue here. Closure's bullshit. Right. It is. Do you feel it is valid for me to still harbor some feelings toward the, towards the scenario, no. considering I never got the opportunity to ask how we had gotten to that point? And I don't know why you didn't ask that in that yeah, conversation, to, yeah. but it's cool. When she realized, when she realized, and how long before, before, the sun is in my face, when she realized and how long before then that she had actually broken up with me in her mind and heart, etc. And her family still contacting me doesn't really help because at some point it gives me, it gave me false impressions that she might still be trying to find means to get in touch with me. Albeit, not to get back together because I don't think I would want to get back. However, I do feel like I deserved a conversation after eight years ended in a week. Or am I bugging? You're bugging. Eight years, not nah, well. You're bugging. Eight years, I'm gonna, I might want some closure. Y'all had a conversation. You didn't, she said, I didn't get a chance to speak, speak in that conversation. For whatever reason, y'all had a conversation. Son, you know, one thing, I've read that our minds work differently, men and women. And with, <gasps> You okay. read that somewhere? No, 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 no. no. But it, you but didn't live I think it's whole podcast. Yes, is based on yes, that. yes. Get shut the fuck you up, all of you. Okay, like real life. Shut up. Wikipedia. Oh. No, but when it comes to processing emotions, women were just quicker with that shit, and so men, it takes them a little bit more time. So within a week, she had the ability to articulate, you know, everything that she wanted to get off, but he was still like processing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And now that he has all the questions built up. And she's cut off com- communication. That's fucked up. 
honestly. So him desiring closure, I, I see why. I see the need for it. I see the need to have some questions answered. And also the family keeping in contact with him, I could see why that would offer. That, that's a two-way right. communication. False you don't hope. have to be in contact right. with the family. He should absolutely cut off com if that uh, is communication with, you with the family. And giving you false are you, hope. Are you packed? I agree with that. What? Are you packed? Yes, yeah, she is. Like, I'm she was packed. She's since packed. Last she Thursday. said she's packed. Yeah, she's I packed am. since mm -hmm. last week. Okay. No, not since last week. <laughs> not since last week. That's hate. Don't do that. That is hate. Um, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Sir. You're just a little rushy, a little like straight to the point. You, you're not, you know, you just, you haven't talked, but you know, we with you. Let me fucking meander around the point and I'll hear it from this motherfucker, That's okay? True. So it's I'm trying to like, you know. Meander. Yeah, meander. I'm trying to get to the fucking That's point before he cuts me off and says, Melissa Ford. Wait. <laughs> wait, and, wait, and, wait, and now that you say that, that means you do know that you meander around the point. You do Fuck it. yeah. I like, to, I like to slow walk my point. I like to, you know, throw around my big words. and sh Listen, this is not fucking about me, okay? That's we are trying to <laughs> give true. help to help. somebody. Let's help. Okay, let's help. Okay. I feel like he needs to review the tape because if he, she, he said that she gave him a week in texts, there might have been something in there that his, uh, his um, egos or emotions overlooked that he's looking for an answer to and it may be in there. But I do think it's foul to leave someone in a week after eight years, though. So that's crazy to me. I don't. I don't know. But he was also saying, he also said something about the fact that she might have mentally already been checked out. Checked out. Mm -hmm. And that's a, a, absolutely and a he thousand wants, he wants percent. To, that's he how wants women to know. break up, too. It is. He sure. wants to know at what when did the check out. And he never said him. He never said he's a he. Oh, okay. oh that's true. Okay. Yep, let's. Uh, let's okay, well, let's, they. Let's, they. Let's, yeah. Yeah. They. They. Yeah. They were saying, yeah. like, they want to know when the mental checkout happened. My thing is, what it's does none of your that business. What difference do it? today? Yeah. And it's none of your business. Whether, and, whether the mental checkout happened in the, in the breakup convo a month before, whatever the case may be. You don't have well, any unanswered questions about anything in life? Let me tell you this. Let yeah, me, but you me, don't. That, let and, me, and they, they are unanswered for a reason because I don't take, have the answer to it. You them. don't take. Let me do this because, boy, I hear women fuck this up a lot. Yes, as a human, after eight years and it ended abruptly, you should have unanswered questions. You shouldn't go seek the person that wants nothing to do with you to get those answers. It sounds like he's having or they're having a hard time with the treatment already in the separation. That person has made it loud and clear that I want nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. So whatever answers I got for you ain't going to comfort you. <laughs> and you start They're not going to help. You might not want to hear just how I was feeling in this shit, which made me feel and move so abruptly. It was abrupt for you. For me, this shit may have built up over time, and I don't want to hurt you like that. I don't even want to talk to you no more. This is the best way to go about it. I've been in breakups where, at the time, I didn't realize that her way was the best way for both of us. I wanted to have, so, hey, let's talk. Hey, uh, let's go see a movie. Hey, let's be cordial. We ain't got to be together. Hey, the way she doing it, Allow the time to pass and then see how you feel. And a therapist told me that after another relationship. Actually, she, to he, she told the girl that. I didn't like this part. <laughs> she said to the girl, hey, you think you really love him? Or you're not sure if he's the one? During breakup. Don't talk to him for a year. <laughs> and then see how you feel. Oh, okay. That's strange advice, but... It's not strange. That's strange. That's amazing advice. not strange, not strange at all. That's amazing Amazing advice. advice. It's not strange at all. Why do you think that's strange? And don't you, meander. You're not sure about, you're not sure whether you're in love with somebody, so don't talk to them for a year. Said she, you're not certain if, if he's the if one. This or person not. is the one for you. Because in the span of time of if, which if you, the, of the, when you're not talking, they can if the, pick up and no, start if with the somebody year else. passes, so, you still love them. If, mm -hmm. if in a year, 365 days, mm -hmm. you dating other people, you experiencing life doing whatever you're doing, mm -hmm. and you still have a yearning and a longing for this individual, then, then it might be him. something. He but after 365 too. days, you could be like, good riddance with that yeah, nigga. Thank my life is right. 10 times you, you better. out of my system. Yeah, yeah but or what if I realize you are that motherfucker, but you, you moved, moved on. on. He just answered that. Yeah. No, no per meaning the other person has moved on. I could talk about so I, I could talk to someone who's personally done that. Me and my wife split up and then dated other people for like six months and then got back together and we've been together for nine years now or some shit. Like Put big pox. But that and, shit and, works. And, and I think and I think that's in the, the mindset of the person that left the other person, right? Yeah. So if you're the person that leaves, cool. You left already. Now if you in doubt about where this person stands in your life, 
Don't talk to them for a year. And mm-hmm. if you go back and that person is with somebody else, then you also have your answer. Word. <laughs> You wasn't the one for them. They, yeah. didn't, they didn't wait I wouldn't for say you. That. That they wasn't sense. waiting around for you. I don't necessarily think that that's actually. I don't, I don't agree with the second I'm one. just yeah. saying they wasn't waiting around well, for you. What if it, now you got to tack another year on or some more time. Now you got to wait it out. Anybody in a position where you got to wait out? Hey, the person you like got somebody. Now sit there and refresh the Instagram, nigga. <laughs> Word. Wait for, them wait for the pictures to, to get, get deleted. deleted. Yeah. Uh-huh. Wait for the argument. Wait for I'm focusing on me now. The, oh my god. Yala Van Zant quotes. Yeah. You like yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Come yeah. on. You be like yeah. That's our bag. <laughs> so I hope we were able to help all of the, all of the part of the show people. So shout out to y'all. And listen, send in some more questions. Sign up to the Patreon. We are here to either help you or clown you or deal off some hope. Yo, one of, no, one of, the, one of the hope, homies man. that uh, I got hope was dealing out hope Saturday. I got hope for the low. I wasn't dealing out hope. Oh, Yo, you, people you, were so excited to they, see us. You was a leprechaun giving out gold packages at the end of the rainbow. Or, what ooh. else? What else you was giving out? Oh, oh. I'm just loading up. <laughs> I, 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 load, I loaded. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> y'all play a dangerous game. Now what? y'all, that's it. It's, it's, they, they both want to shoot. That was yeah. him. No, I don't want to. Is you have the Uzi, right? I don't, don't want to shoot at all. Him. Yeah, that's in defense. <laughs> You know what I mean? Nigga still off on you. You gotta, you know what I mean? Shoot him. Yeah. Both them niggas went in there. Pop off, nigga. No, you pop off. No, you pop off. That's how they win. Need pop sauce. Hey, yo. No, he the nigga when you slap boxing with your friend and he hit you too hard. <laughs> he don't know. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hey. Oh, shit. Wait, hold up. Hold we, up. Hold we couldn't up. fit enough candles on hold the cake, up. Corey said. Hey. Oh. oh. What the fuck did you just say? What did you we don't, say? We don't know how many candles Fish. to put on the cake. It's fine. We like, can't put ca- candles on the cake anymore because of COVID, right? No, huh? no, no. Because I can't blow out the candle. You can't, can't, yo, Corey you, can't get yo, further candles. You can blow out your cake, yo. I'm not eating that Corey, shit. You, you need a couple more boxes. <laughs> yo. Yo, so we got you a cake even though you celebrated with the EYL niggas. Oh, shit. Oh, oh whoa. That's, that's you celebrated Yikes. with. Oh, my. Melissa J. I want to ask how Melissa your podcast Savannah goes. Ford. Feel about Melissa Ford celebrating her birthday with the Earn Your Leisure crew. Well, it was, now, now, it was now, invited. And not us. Yo, oh, hey, you invited oh. I didn't. It hey, wasn't Snitch. Oh, you've been outside a lot of Yo, issues. Mel, I wasn't there. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. man. That's crazy. She inviting us. See, Ish, y'all niggas is fine. It wasn't Ooh, y'all, me. Y'all, first of all. You, nigga. You, Ish wasn't nowhere. You like seven niggas in one. So when we say y'all, we talk about you. <laughs> <laughs> you Antoine, Ishmael, Donovan. It's good to put one Donovan. of each color. <laughs> It wasn't. It wasn't. It so wasn't that, me that invited anybody. It's, mess. it's okay. I got invited. But you always complain about not, not giving the invitation. It's true. I don't get the fucking invitation from y'all. Mm. But I was invited to that. Okay. There you go. Get the shit off. Hey. Uh, okay, man, man, stand up. Hey. 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 What you doing? Stand up. Hey, Mel. <laughs> yeah, get comfy. Go ahead and do what you got. It's your okay, birthday. It's, it's Flip. It's, it's, it's <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Flip. <laughs> Flip, chill out. The allegations not, is crazy, bro. You got to chill. Flip, you gotta, the you weather gotta, lady is my he people. Don't, he don't help him either. <laughs> no, he don't, bro. He'll never beat the allegations. <laughs> Why would you? That's my new favorite <laughs> slang, by the way, that they do. Yeah, hey, I got to talk some business with you, too. Uh-oh. Always. Yeah. Always. I'm going to do some business. Mel, that dog don't give a fuck about nothing you're saying right now. <laughs> and you don't give a fuck about the dog. I just going to say shit about the dog right hey, now. Hey, hey, get out of here, Dave. Go. Hey, hi, fine. Go go out there, jump. Dog about to commit dog aside. <laughs> dog going to commit dog aside. What is wrong gonna... with you? Why would yeah, you? Why thank you. you? She is loved. nuts. <laughs> dog hop right over there. Ah! She is loved. I don't want to live with her anymore. She is oh, loved. Shit. I'm free. Yeah, this bitch is a mess. <laughs> that dog is calling me all types of bees. <laughs> she loves me. Um, I want to, before we end this, I want to share my, my, I want to share my sheer and utter disgust with sweet potato fries. What? Mm. Nah. That's hate. Nah, That's it depends on who makes them. It does depend on who makes them. That's true. Except they come off all soft and mm. mushy. I hate sweet potato fries. Nah, if they done right, they fire. Mm. Sweet potato, uh, tater tots? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shit that Corey be on Corey be on some real shit. Fire. I don't know where the fuck he got that from. Y'all that shit's crazy. fire. Yeah, a sweet hit. potato tater tot versus a good tater tot? Them sweet potato tater tots. Why would you have a joke, yo? Corey, you found some spot. You gonna ruin a tater tot with sweet potato shit and it don't eat, ain't even really sweet potato? It's just marketing. 
That ain't marketing. Right? It is marketing. Yeah. Why? Sweet potato. Why you seen the doc? Love that. Potato say. doc. What the doc say? Have you yo? seen the sweet potato doc? <laughs> <laughs> but I don't like think about no damn no, doc right now. I'm joking. I, I, I don't. It could be sweet potato. It don't taste like the sweet potato I like to eat. Not, not, wait till them. Wait till what? Come. I hate them. Shits. Now the good ones with like this little shit. cayenne or something on there. Bro, I love and crispy. I hate them. cinnamon. And I hate when you want a date with a girl and she order them as somebody that don't like them. Like now I can't even pick in your fries. That's that's a love language for me. <laughs> no, she trying to impress you. Picking in fries is a love language. She trying to make you think she health conscious. No, the girls I'm out with don't be trying it. Well, I'm. I don't. <laughs> telling her stuff. I'm not telling nothing. My girl know I be out with girls, and she know I'm faithful and don't do nothing. Go back home. Now what? Duh, duh, <laughs> duh. Now look. Now look. What old boy? What old boy think about this trip you about to take? Oh, shit. Who? The other old boy. Hootie who? Hootie who? Hootie who? What do you know? What he think? <laughs> Everybody needs to know what they need to know. Need to know. Damn, that's what that. that's everybody, that's everybody needs to know. Yeah. <laughs> everybody know what they need to know. Exactly. All right. Hey, you like it. I love it. Mm -hmm. uh, what they sleeping on, Joe? All right. Let me. I got something that they might be sleeping on, man. Oh, I got to find it now. Let me close and open up. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Is anybody else going to talk? Have you ever listened to, you? have you ever heard a song in like a movie <laughs> or a TV show that you really liked uh -huh. and it sounded fire? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you realized it's because it, of the scene. It's because of the scene. Absolutely. All the time. Disclaimer about my last sleeper. Mm, that's, that's what, what that was. was. Gotcha. And it was like a particularly intense, dope sex scene. Mm hmm. Wait, and they were fucking the. <laughs> so that. <laughs> kind of depressing ass was you sex watching? There. It was that. It was Lovecraft Country. Oh, no, that's my shit. That was a good show. Exactly. Right. I'm mad. I'm mad. They need to. They need to. Somebody need to pick that up. Yeah. Right. Well, we'll see what happens. One of my favorite things about this podcast and and in life is music discovery. Sure. Like honestly, how did you discover that joint? You went to IG? What's she look like? Yo, dog. She cute. Why are you... Yo, thank y'all for uh, You're coming. meandering. <laughs> You're meandering. <laughs> you are me you are meandering. <laughs> Just tell the audience how you discovered it, man. That's it. I don't know. It came across my radar somehow. Mm. <laughs> this guy's got a good radar. His radar boy, one of the greatest. Ah. Oh. Uh, ah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Right. Savannah Christina. Savannah she she looks a little bit like Mel in the album cover, but I don't know. This is a little. When my natural hair is out, yeah, thank you, Parks. I'll welcome. take that. She's yeah. gorgeous. Thank you. You're welcome. Happy birthday. All righty. Salute. You got something to say? No. Okay. Why <laughs> <laughs> right. you for? Is it always me to say something? <laughs> no, I got I got fucking right, smoke yeah, for them too. To <laughs> no, I got, I'm chilling. Not today. Oh. Not today. Happy, birthday. I, happy birthday. I, I exactly. love Big Mel. Happy birthday. Max. Yeah, word. I don't want no songs. Uh, Not too you. much on Mel. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so my song is called Treetops. It's by Ale Ar... <laughs> Treetops. <laughs> Didn't you just get, get finished saying you love the sleeper section because you discovered new artists and yes. shit like that? All right, then slow your motherfucking roll but until yeah, the song fucking plays. Nothing. All right, play the song, Parks. You, you call it Treetops. Play, play, play the, the song. song, Parks. I, I'm just listening. I'm just listening. Listen. Oh, hey, you ready? Yo, yo, go home, yo. Go, go get your bag. You know, I'm about to pick go, that cake, go be at cake the up airport and throw early. it on your fucking... Uh, my girl, my tomorrow. girl Mel is out of here. Gone. <laughs> it's good when you scoop up something for vacation and they like grateful about it. Like they happy and excited. Get the mushrooms ready. Word. It's going to be some tree yeah. topping going on. Yeah, grass skirt. She'll be in a grass skirt. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully y'all enjoyed this podcast as much as we enjoyed delivering it to you. Keep us in your prayers, me especially, because I move walkie in the street like a fucking dodo. Lord knows I need to be there. I say it every pod. You learning. Mm -hmm. Until then, I'm getting better. Yeah, I'm getting learning. better. That's all that matters. Learning and, lessons. Until the next time, I bid you adieu. Farewell. Adios. Arrivederci. Hasta la vista. Au revoir. So long. Goodbye. Hey, when I pull up out front, walk through the kitchen. Everybody know my name now. Hey.
This nigga so corny, yo. Oh, shit. <laughs> yo. The baddies are insecure. The stagnant women want to travel. The closed-minded women want you to teach them things. Grab a Tylenol. You might need it. Tell you I'm local. Peace, love, health, wealth, and prosperity to all y'all out there, man. Y'all hold it down. Everybody have a good week. Head on a swivel. Head on a swivel. Look around at all times. It could be a nigga with bad hands or beer mace. You never know. Be careful. Until then, man, I hope everybody gets home to their families, their loved ones, their loved ones, loved ones. Again, rest in peace to Bob Knight. Rest in peace to Stuart Scott, too. Just cause. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Let me hit a little bridge on. Hit the bridge, 50. Hey. Hey. How many pounds do you think is the bag that you pack? Oh, I'm, I'm, is it I'm, overweight? No, no, no. Definitely oh, no. underweight. Yeah, oh, ain't, no, bring yeah. ain't bring too much. <laughs> yeah. Lightweight shit. Lightweight shit. And also room to buy stuff. Ah. Uh, yeah, nigga. T- oh, yeah, yeah, what you thought? What? No, I didn't say that was him. <laughs> <laughs> that was you? That said what? You gonna get some more clothes from Columbia? Yes, nigga. We shot when we land. In Columbia? Wherever. Man, if you don't order you some sheen. They got... <laughs> What you talking about? No sheen shaming, all right? You gonna order you some fashion over they're for gonna, ladies? They're gonna have some nice shit in Columbia, especially where I'm going. Who gonna, uh, uh-huh. who gonna pay for it? Huh? Who gonna pay for it? Huh? You heard the question. Huh? huh? <laughs> I, was, I was meandering. Oh, uh, meandering again. I'm meandering again. <laughs> and yo, shout out to 50. This, in the club just went diamond. Oh, yeah, the, Just now? Yeah. No, the, the single. The single. Oh, okay. Salute. Congrats to 50. Shout out to the whole Queens. We'll be back this weekend, same time, same place. <laughs> well, some of us will be back. And that's the next time you'll see me. Oh, yeah, Mel won't be here. <laughs> we'll have something else nice in it. <laughs> <laughs> that's a joke. That's I'm joking. That's that is a up. joke. It's, 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 it's a it joke. It might not be a joke. It is though. a joke. Okay. And even if something else nice is sitting here, Big Mel is near and dear and family and irreplaceable to us. Who the fuck you. are they talking about out Thank there? Thank you. Whoever it is, just tell them to keep the seat warm. That's it. Hey. Okay. I'm pretty Whatever. sure she's going to come with enough to keep the seat warm. I'm, I'm pretty I'm sure, sure, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'd be disappointed if she didn't. See, it'll be an oven. No, Joe Biden. No, Joe Biden.